Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I'm here to talk about a big problem, hegemonic masculinity. Here to weigh, here to weigh in, we've got Nate, best guy ever, best man. Yeah, I'm like Edward Scissorhands. I'm, I hate hedge cutting masculinity get you know f- fuck c- canceled uh we've got <laughs> tom oliver look i just do what my dick tells me to do if it's good if it's bad it doesn't matter it's the boss and i know where i stand in the pecking order uh arrest this the man pecker order you might say <laughs> and finally we've got lethal aurora mage completely unrelated to the topic pokemon I'm glad to hear you're an ally. <laughs> I'm gonna poke your mom, mage, because I'm a Pokemon bad, is gay toxic coded. Male. I'd say queer hey, coded. Go- hey guys, yeah. I have an announcement. I have a big mm-hmm. announcement to make right now. All right, okay. go. Fuck go, you. Go. Uh, uh, my Kickstarter is launching right now. Hooray! Vapors Incredible. two physical copies wait, available wait. right you now mean, on Kickstarter. Mean... Link in the description. Uh, uh, I don't have, I haven't, as I record, I have not actually made the website, so I can't say it out loud. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's real. Damn it, it's real. Is there a, is there it's a real in the future predict? when they're listening to this, not right now, correct? Yes. I can't that's... go mm. right now, but I can when this is live. In, in this, the future. Yes. <laughs> on Friday at 2 p.m. or whatever we release these. I yes, see, at I that see. point, the page will be up and the 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 and the the suffering will begin. Dab dab dab. Now I'd dab. very much like to have physical copies of all the vapor chapters, but what can I expect as a fan for okay. new content? Okay, is it vaporettes? <clears throat> Here's the thing. There's gonna be mm-hmm. like there's gonna be uh, unless unless any of my the artists that got lined up drop out. I'm mm-hmm. gonna. It's gonna have. This is gonna have six new six new. Wow. Fully new vaporettes. They are canon. I wrote them. They're being drawn mm, by guest mm. artists, but I wrote them. They're canon. Uh, we're probably actually going to be more new content than old content. Actually, um, and we're going. Be. We're going deep. We're going deep diving. Guess what? You're gonna meet. You're gonna meet Vincent and Magda's parents. You. Fuckers. Oh my god. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah, Jesus they're Christ. in there. Yeah, they're in there. We can yeah, find out who's some... responsible for these fucking <laughs> delinquents. Yeah there's, yeah, there's some fucking shit in there. Okay, there's some fucking shit. You're gonna scatological feel... humor confirmed. You're gonna feel. <laughs> you're gonna feel real fucking bad when you read this shit. You piece. You fucker. Don't <laughs> fucking see, Ben. Do that's you're actually pretty interesting because I'm because so that's like an important <laughs> part of your character's kind of like development is like reveal these characters and and you're not even drawing it you know you've outsourced a very big kind of like i don't want to say plot point but that's kind of cool well i made um well i did some like concept sketches not just for parents like there's other things like like if a particular thing factors into a story i'll draw it out and be like here's what this looks like or something so like i did like Mm -hmm. design Mm -hmm. stuff but like I mean, I don't really care. I don't feel any less, like, I don't feel, like, divorced from it at all if, like, someone else draws. I think that's cool. I think that's cool that I can yeah. get my ideas represented in another person's style. And I'm, and I, cool. and by the way, um, I'm giving all the guest artists a cut. I'm giving, like, you know, I got six of them. So I'm giving everyone as a cut. Every, my deal is with them all that mm-hmm. every chapter, every copy of vapors 2 that sells i'm gonna give them 50 cents so Holy last shit. time i moved about 200 copies so that would be like 100 bucks there if i go. did really well it would be even more so uh, ben, ben well, saying that's great putting his money where his mouth is and giving his artists the vapors dividend yeah yeah Beautiful. dab yeah uh, uh, <laughs> work, uh workers workers of the wor- workers of the world unite everyone's uh, we got you got mutual ownership here right we got a worker a little workers co-op going on right here we got you know, mutually we mutually own then. the means of production but you know when, whenever i work with anyone i make sure that they are financially compensated or else i wouldn't possibly expect them to do it i didn't uh funny funny thing all these mm-hmm. guys like ha- they're not all, all these guys like just asked me if they could do it and said they oh, wanted okay. to do it like for free and i was like yeah okay and then ah, i was like wait tempting. a minute mm-hmm. i should pro- i should probably pay them i should probably yeah, also pay them yeah. something you know i th- from a purely <laughs> that's, that's just an art me too waiting to happen if it gets out uh-huh. that you don't I have mean, any of these artists being paid because there's nothing that, that an artist like... gets mad about more than unpaid work I mean, Perhaps. how many times have Perhaps. you know we like shit on like guys like Doctor Wolf and KP for exactly? You know, not... I didn't want to be but, a doc- I did not want to yeah. be a Doctor Wolf. Like I, I guarantee those people came to them and were like, "Hey, man, can we edit for you?" They develop a rhythm, and then at a certain point, they're like, "Hey, shouldn't I be getting paid for this?" Even though I, 
I mean, it, it, I can't imagine that Dr. Wolf, for example, would willingly take advantage of anyone's labor. I'm sure he just bumbles into it due to, you know, whatever, free shit that people just offer to him. This yeah. is my guess anyway. Maybe he's a master manipulator. Who, who can say? He's a I'm, wily I, You one. know, I gotta say, I was going over, like, I was deciding on how much I was going to set the goal at this, this time. I was going over the expenses mm-hmm. from last time, and they were like... They were yep. like almost double what I thought. Like it cost almost twice as much to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I, I my initial bitch. goal was like seventeen fifty. I think the actual amount of just like you know initial Kickstarter fees plus like postage plus initial printing plus like making the pit. It all came to like like twenty eight hundred or something. So like almost half yeah. of like the whole thing. Well, it well, was Ben. It was uh, a real. It was a real. Oh, and shipping. God, international shipping fucking killed me. This time I am gonna mm-hmm. have to add like an international shipping charge just There's, because um, last time international yeah. shipping we were was so fucking bad. With Digi about shipping shirts and stuff, and he was recommending stamps dot com where you can get highly discounted shipping through there instead of going through local traditional channels so that might be something to look into i'll check it out is it really cheaper than just sending with the he was able to ship the shirts that he's been doing for half the price that he was before so well yeah it I'm, seems I, like it might be worth looking into i'll 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 look into it and see if that uh if that if that cuts any any costs anywhere you know, if you want to know more, of... watch that episode with me, me, uh, Tom, and Digi, where half more than half of the episode is about Digi talking about his oh, shipping. Oh, you know, I didn't <laughs> watch that the BronyCon one. Yeah, but it, maybe before. the but people are split on that. Whether being it was a nice, cool, calm reprieve from the normal PCP. Uh, the other half, the audience, like this is the most boring shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> well, yeah. hey, so it's well, be you a know tough what? Balance. At least it was. At least. Well, they can't variety, you know. Yeah, yeah was, at least it was different. You people aren't spoiled different. for choice at this point, thanks to <laughs> me. Indeed, indeed. Yeah. Speaking of of financial curves and trying to get ahead of things, this is very much on my mind as I'm embarking on my my year long quest to be financially viable long term and whatnot, doing YouTube stuff. And I got to tell you guys, this this last I don't know couple of weeks or whatever i have been like an animal with a taste of blood in its mouth i have been on the hunt i have been the hunter in the field remember that guy in jumanji that like sick like south african hunter guy who was chasing robin williams like that's me Mm. that's me and and my prey and my prey is the most elusive prey the most dangerous prey of all that i've been pursuing and it is what could it be a a huel sponsorship oh i have been making okay are you right now Bitch, yeah. are you for real? Well, okay, though, <laughs> tragically, I'm not for real. Because, oh, uh, well, <laughs> I, the, the, as far as I know, I've been doing some research. I don't think that Huel has really done anything like this before. So I've taken on myself to reach out to them and just say, hey, guys, talk to me. I love your product. I would be, I would absolutely love to shill your shit online because I think it's so great and so good for the future of humanity let's make a fucking deal where i can make a little pittance shill your product and whatever more people buy your stuff you have to do a weagua on like starfleet or something and then integrate your fuel into that because what is more starfleet than fuel well that's that's couldn't be more accurate but uh, i mean at the beginning of my last weagua about the tarantino movie uh, once Mm. upon a time in hollywood i do like a little gag where i actually say like fuel sponsor me i'm wearing fuel merch drinking a fuel saying fuel i love your product please let me show for you more fuel i haven't gotten fuel in a fucking forever i, I did, just got I my second like batch fuel. of the um of like the bottle you know whatever bottle fuel i just had one for breakfast the chocolate fuel bottles are so fucking good the, you know, oh, there's I one i have not it. done the bottles at all yet because i, I you was... sh- they are they're so much better than the powder they are delicious the thing oh, about the powder is it's annoying to make and it honestly make. doesn't taste that great the bottles are so the good bottles are they are so good in every but isn't it like way. a lot more expensive to get it is bottles? that's the downfall. it is more expensive that's definitely true but the question is is it overall for life still a better use of your money than like buying a sandwich which i think the answer is yes that's what that's what i've said i've that's worked fair. out it's like between three and four dollars a bottle which is like 400 calories not cheap but how do i how do i get to use my ebt on Huel? i'm making a I, healthy you know, choice i have to go contact the government and be like look in a perfect buy, world maybe we'll if be you there can find it in like a convenience store or something uh, i don't think they sell in retail because i think they only the sell direct to uh to consumers no, right now no i swear i've seen like boxed like Huel. oh yeah uh, maybe uh, okay. I, I think so it was in the I same mean, place it, that we saw the boxed water 
you know? <laughs> well, Remember okay. Remember boxed water? That because. sounds great. <laughs> Maybe Ice? I'm getting confused. I don't know. Well, I, in, in uh, any case, look, I, I just want to let people know that um, – I'm not asking anybody to do anything, but, like, if anyone knows about ways to get in... At this point, I have sent two salvos. I have reached out twice to their support staff just saying, hey, guys, I make YouTube videos, looking for a sponsorship with you guys. I think you're great. I think we'd be a great fit. Uh, work with... Just just let me know if you're even interested. So far, I've had no communication back from them whatsoever, which is not Nate, a no, you, so I'm, you, I'm you, uh... pressing. You got it. You, you're going about this the entirely wrong way. This is what you need to yeah. do. You need to make a video on YouTube okay. talking about this exact thing you're saying right now. You want oh my to God, get you're a right. Huel sponsorship, <laughs> and then you have to make a hashtag. You have to put it on ah, Twitter, Jesus, and you have to you're at right. Huel and get everyone to jump on the on the hashtag. Get it trending, and they'll have to acknowledge you. What do we got? What's what's a what's a good hashtag? Uh, hashtag Huel it up. Hashtag <laughs> hashtag uh, Huel Nate's heart. I don't know. Uh, something like, like that. You're going to have to though. workshop that a bit, but <laughs> we'll get there. I mean, I like that one. That was cute. Huel Nate. <laughs> I, like, I, my, I was going for like a Fuel Nate's heart kind of thing, but it's Huel. That, yeah. you know, all right. You know. I got okay. it. <laughs> there you go. Hashtag Huel Nate's heart. Uh, that's the one. Uh, yeah, we're starting like, a social media campaign. Tell Huel you want me to sponsor their product for reasonable compensation. That's what I'm all about. That's Hashtag it. Hashtag... Fuck you! There you go. <laughs> no, but like, uh, They're doing since, God's work. Since we, we mentioned Twitter briefly, I'm going to sure. go slightly off topic. Does anyone know if Twitter still verifies people? Because I've heard it doesn't verify people anymore or something. You know, I've looked into this a bit, Mage, and what I found at my, at my last check was that um, there used to be a process through which uh, they would, in fact, like you could submit a form to be verified. Mm -hmm. When la I was interested in this uh, a while back. When I looked into it, they said they have shut down the application thing, so they're not, like, accepting applications or whatever, but when they, they will still still give out the badge to people that like they just like journalists or like people who just are known and are recognized and journalists is like the number one kind of people who that just happens to when they're known and they do stuff even people who don't have a lot of followers or anything so for us plebs there's basically no hope no i wasn't if you i was for enough, me you know? i don't care about the tick but i'm following like mm -hmm. this one uh twitter account that's been wanting to be uh verified for a are while talking about satan just... are you talking about yes. Verify yes satan? i am talking about <laughs> <Satan>. <laughs> yes, how sick. did you know because i saw this on the twitters i i, Is I it just I, at well, satan that, well, that, well that's hashtag young verify that's, satan that's yes. young <laughs> venus's dream is to get verified on twitter but i guess it'll never happen uh, what a, what a shame. Well, I like how Tom knows me enough. <laughs> so that I is good. Well, I mean, what's their what's their reason for not verifying people? I well, think I because... mean, I think it's because yeah. like their it seems like their standards for verification were mm -hmm. like way inconsistent, or maybe they changed. Yeah, like there yeah. are tiny accounts that are verified, mm -hmm. and there are like big accounts that are not verified. And... It seems like verification is more at this point not to be this is who you are, but it's like you're involved with like it, the traditional media, yeah, or, or something it like that. It seems like it's mm. it's like yeah, it's not about this is who you are. It's about like. We, it's, we're, tw this it's, is, it's, twi it's Twitter giving you sort of like an endorsement. Yeah, it's our yeah. tacit pat on the head for everything. That I you mean, do. the one, the, yeah. the biggest one was when they simply de-verified Milo Yiannopoulos, and like we we know that's Milo's account, like it, right. you, it that's verified. Yeah. but they just were like, nah, we don't want to, we don't want to be with this so guy. So obviously, anymore. that's not what banned? it means. Yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's true. Uh, he, he, later on, he did get banned, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. was that was a separate incident, though. Um. Yeah, well, I don't know. Good luck, Satan. I wish oh, you yeah. all the luck on your quest to get verified. Shout out to happen. Satan for giving us the knowledge of good and evil. It's really uh, you enabled know, it everything. It was kind of a good thing. It was kind of a helpful In thing. In any other story, Satan would be the hero. Think about it. You, the, the, but, you're in this post post apocalyptic in dystopia, no, so, like, see, and some hero comes in and punishes the sinners. Okay, okay, guys, no, but, like, Satan is punishing the sinners. He's not evil himself. He, he's like he's being the jailer. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This sounds like some he's just Satanism running a for profit made. private prison. What could possibly be wrong that's with that? That's why we need Bernie. That's why we need Bernie to get in there and bust that. But we're shit already up. feeling the burn. <laughs> Satan's got fire and brimstone. We don't need Bernie. It's the wrong kind of burn. Okay. <laughs> It's the wrong kind, all right? It's not exactly what I was thinking. It's just it's I, just too slow of a burn. Eternity is too slow of a burn. We need something quicker and faster. We need change now. That's why we need God, this just makes me think. I've been watching okay, yeah. I've been watching this YouTube channel. I think 
I think Jesse might have complained about this YouTube channel called Renegade mm-hmm. Cuts the other week, and I didn't know what it was talking mm-hmm. about. I have no idea what that is. I didn't know what he was talking about, so I couldn't comment. But um, I started watching it, and it's great. It's gr- it's it's just my shit. It's mm-hmm. my like you know vaguely vaguely lefty uh, <laughs> media analysis in the vein of like Big Joel or sure. you know whatever. It's 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 one of those. It's really good. But in particular, what this guy Renegade Cuts is good at is like he was raised. I think he was raised like very Catholic. Like he was an altar boy and stuff. He's mm. got insight he's got insight into like the evangelical mindset he mm, has okay he has one video in that i particularly recommend on the um oh fuck what's it called that movie and books uh left behind you know the ones about like the, yeah. the rapture people living in like the post rapture thing mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. he goes he goes into like a deep dive on like i knew about some of this like rapture the like mythology stuff but i didn't mm-hmm. know like he he'll he throws out terms like oh post millennial dispensationalism and stuff to describe like what's going on here in terms of like the philosophy at play. And okay, it's, it's great shit. It's great shit, and it's like you know what is dispensationalism? Okay, oh well, I didn't know this, but apparently uh-huh. the, the dis a dispensation in it's so- like a payment, right? It, 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 well, yeah, it's well in okay in this context, what it means mm. is a period of time is a dispensation. So, like the time when Adam and Eve lived in the garden before the fall was a dispensation, and then mm. the time before the flood was another dispensation. And like currently, we are living in a particular dispensation that has been going on since the uh, resurrection of Jesus. Basically, mm. and like then an what era, is prof- an age, something. Okay. Like that. Yeah, an era, an age, and like the like they're okay. Not all of them are specifically this but a lot of uh, uh like rapture theology uh evangelicals have a particular view of eschatology called p- post-millennial dispensationalism which <laughs> says that there will be that we are currently living in a long dispensation but there will be the rapture and then there will be the millennia which is a thousand year reign of jesus christ followed by the mm. judgment and like the return of heaven on earth which is the that is the post millennial dispensation that is like the when the uh, I see the the judgment happens. It's something along those lines. And anyway, Renegade cuts is really good and he talks about that kind of stuff and I love that shit. Well, all right, cool. And he talks uh, about all those not, he doesn't, he doesn't only talk about that, but I'll, like a significant chunk of his videos are about movies like Left Behind and um uh <laughs> other like like Christian uh propaganda kind of things. You know, I forget the name of the guy, but, uh, you know, Michelle was Mormon for, for a while when she was young, which is, you know, it's, it's basically a cult. It's just it's just a yeah. cult. It's weird. Uh, and, like, uh, there, there's some YouTubers that pop up. There's kind of a, a little subgenre of, like, former religious people. Like, sounds like this guy is one. And mm-hmm. there's these former Mormon guys. I can't remember the guy's name specifically, but there's one guy. I think it was actually Mr. Atheist. I think that was his name. Hmm. And Michelle what was saying guy. for a while. <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. Uh, Michelle was saying for a while that she was watching his stuff. But after a while, it just became like, <laughs> here I am, not still not Mormon. You know, still, <laughs> still wishing yeah, like, I hadn't done that back in the that day. That can't be your whole thing. Well, it's got to change at some point, you know. Yeah. Uh, you, you know what's another interesting phenomenon? Something with more meat on its bones. Yeah, yeah, but like th- there was there was the other um Michelle was uh telling me about uh there there are these channels that get huge off of specifically like acne. They're like acne channels and they're about like no. someone's journey to get rid of their acne. So they start off looking, you know, oh, pretty sure, rough. Sure. And they they try I forget like Accutane or like some of the procedures yeah. and that 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 journey because people are like, "Oh, I've got acne. Would this work for me?" Well, they, they well, watch they do this all these for videos. weight loss, right? They do like weight loss journey channels. Yes, too. that that kind of shit too. And the thing is Oftentimes they can succeed, but in doing so, they develop like a pretty sizable following. I saw some people with like over like 150,000 subs just off of an, an acne journey. But then it's like, well, now what? <laughs> You're done. Yeah. The quest you, is you over. You lost the weight. Yeah. Uh, good, I think good there job. was something like that, like a channel about a woman trying to lose her weight, but she ended up like binge eating and just becoming. Yes. Better. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. I know her. I don't, Michelle's well, still about her. I don't. Well, there's. Oh, God, I saw a video about this, and it was, like, people... It was talking about how people love to hate on these people and to, like, mm-hmm. and to like, lo- like, if someone... F- yeah, there's one there's one particular channel that is, like, well-known for this, but it's not the only one, but it's, like, a weight loss journey where, like, based on what the videos... The video contents, you can tell that, like, they're mm-hmm. not doing it. They're, they're failing, right? Sure, and they're, sure. like, 
making excuses for themselves and people like and people like to watch these and do reaction videos pointing out like oh look like look how dishonest this person's being like look how this person's fucking up Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. it's kind of like a there but for the grace of god that's the internet for you i guess yeah i (sighs) i know the channel you're talking about but i don't remember its name yeah, yeah, I yeah. only heard about it like. And like, how long? How long ago. can you milk the idea that you are on a weight loss journey when like it's been years and like you weigh the same? Or I more? think at it's this like, point yeah, yeah. it might be like some sort of psychological dependency on the attention for the female. That's, I think it's not. It's not quite the well, same. Maybe. It reminds reminds me of Boogie, right? Like Boogie mm-hmm. had that like gastric bypass surgery and he went down from like mm-hmm. five hundred to like three hundred pounds, and then that's pretty good. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it could be better, right? But he's sure, like, he's still, he, man. I, I mean, forty forty percent weight loss is pretty damn good. Yeah, well, but some, when you have but when you have gastric down. bypass, of course you're gonna have that, right? But then sure. he's still he's still morbidly obese, right? But like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I I saw a video. There's this one pretty pretty well known video about like what's what the fuck's wrong with Boogie. Just mm-hmm. like what an asshole he is, and he does seem like sure, a big asshole. Sure. But in particular, there's people like there's people that have made like really good faith attempts to be like, "Hey, Boogie, here's what I think is going wrong on your weight loss journey, and here's how I think you can fix it." And he's responded with like great hostility, like a totally un- inappropriate sense of like I'm being victimized. Well, by you well, kind of l- thing. look, I, I, after I mean, you know me, Nate. Nate is hardcore hashtag kill the fats. But mm. but aside from that. <laughs> When you've, like, obviously, people have been telling Boogie, like, gr- I'm sure great advice for, like, years and years. And it's absolutely sh- sh- true that he should have taken most or all of that advice and fixed his problem, which is fixable. But there's, like, I mean, he's got, like, like mental, like, abuse. And he, like, comfort eats because he's so traumatized by, like, his fucked up childhood. I, I just don't know. Well, I sure, mean, yeah. I'm not impressed, but. I mean, there is a point. Point. we've all got like, our reasons why we fuck up. Sure, yeah, okay, yeah, but, okay, like, yeah, people listen, like, listen yeah, for, like, yeah, yeah. years. Mm. He's been, like, like for years on the internet known a person. like And imagine, like, constantly getting this unsolicited advice. It would mm. probably grate on your nerves too. Okay, all right. God damn it. All right. I know you guys are all you guys are we all love you fucking Boogie react. Ben. We all love Boogie. I don't know. I, I no, no, the I defense don't. of this guy. Let me tell you this Boogie it's a reasonable is like, bo- point. okay. I wouldn't complain except that Boogie has like uh-huh. he sort of like has made part he he too kind of made part of his appeal this like weight loss journey thing and he's like sure. he's very cagey about it. He'll make he'll make promises and then he'll like I know that, like, I know that, like, to a certain extent, it's none of his. It wouldn't be his audience's business if but he didn't he like. Did if make he didn't it their talk business. publicly he did do about that. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I kind of wish he wouldn't make it his audience's. It seems like a bad to- like incentive structure to make it your audience's business. Your your especially when you say yeah. I've got psychological issues. This is not going to be easy for me. You know, blah blah blah. My whole that that just that's like a private thing, man. Yeah. I don't know why you. Uh, uh, t- to be fair, I like I don't know much about Boogie like at all. Yeah, I've, I've known I known people say that he's a nice person in general. That's all no, I've heard he's of a him. Monster. And sure. now I'm hearing this. Is, you know, I I'm not believing either side, honestly. So I I know I don't care. Well, I, don't I really this, don't vi- care. This video, this video, I, there's a video called uh, "The Fall of Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight: Why He's Losing Subscribers." That has two million, two point five million views right now. Is that by that guy Tom something? I, Oliver, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, that's my magnum <laughs> opus. Two point five million, Tom. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah you know <laughs> that's that's pretty good. I finally caved. Ra- it's like I got to get into the blood sports. It's the only way to make it in this world. You must be raking in the dough. Oh have yeah, we- I have like seven whole dollars in my AdSense. I'm so <laughs> stoked. Have we, have we talked about how um my, my the the Sonichu lecture is closing in on a hundred thousand? Not a hundred thousand. You mean sorry, a million? Closing or? in on a million. It's it's about a hundred thousand away from hitting a million. It's Hell still up yeah. here and there, but that should be noted. That's that's do pretty you, amazing. Do you think it's gonna see like? Will it see like a second wind? Right. Uh, like I think back in the what? day, Digi said that like when his when his old anime videos hit like a million views, they would sometimes get like a second wind and get like a new wave of of like people watching them. Right? I would. Be I mean, that's like an that algorithm happens. question. I I yeah. don't know, man. I I'm no fucking expert on this shit. I have no be... idea what made like my Galco huh? video. My Galco video had like waves. I think that was just because people would yeah. like post it on Tumblr and they'd be like, "Oh, let's go watch had... the video." It wasn't a huge know. wave, but like the past like two weeks or so. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Like, I, pe- like viewership on the Sonichu lecture was like double what it usually is. I don't know. Just, just happened, and then it, it went kind of just drifted back down again to normal. And yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Let me see. Let me see how how's it doing right now. How's this shit doing right now? 
Um, <laughs> YouTube, YouTube uh, Studio Beta. Show me, show me the analytics. Show me. Uh, beta. Okay. okay. Yeah, it went back. It went. It's gone back down to about normal. The typical like twelve hundred views a day or so. Yeah, for a while it was doing like nineteen hundred, eighteen hundred a day. I think I just, think just, if, just for uh, a very distinct little period there. If mm-hmm. if, mm-hmm. if uh Sonic does something, you know, that, that makes them trend, if your video will probably get some yeah, Sonic oh. goes out you gotta, there. You gotta and dig deep. You gotta go to your last thirty days, and then you gotta see where external traffic's coming from. See if like maybe it got well, posted on Reddit or something. Mm, some yeah. some well, ma- some ma- traffic ma- increase source. It sounds it sounds crazy, and yet there is a Sonic currently living among us in the real world, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. One has crossed over the the dimension. One has torn through the dimensional veil and is currently has come over from C one nine seven and has come why, over to one you, two to dimension one two one eight. Specifically for this Well because well because you said if Sonichu does something and the thing is there currently is a Sonichu in our dimension. They're not supposed to exist in our dimension. They're from they're from universe C one nine seven. But this one correct? of them has crossed Magi Chan Sonichu has crossed the dimensional mm-hmm. barrier, guys. Magi Chan Sonichu has come Bot- not bodily, mentally has entered the body of Christine Weston Chandler and is currently he's, he's living. He's possessed right now, or she? And he's possessed. tweet, yes, currently right, living right. and tweeting in our dimension. <laughs> wait, 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 it's a possession, from I what I heard. I believe that they have swapped bodies. Yeah, that's right. Whoa. That's swapped what I heard. Minds, you mean? Jesus Christ. Well, well, well same t- thing. T- tomato, tomato. No, no, it's not the same thing. The, the result is the same. If you swap body, that means your yes, minds two, two are... two minds have swapped between bodies. Okay, we, we understand okay. the as idea. In, as, in, uh, as in Christine okay, okay, is currently okay, yes, in okay, 1218, okay. and, so- and Maggie Chan Sonichu is currently... Here and the thing, the scary thing about that is that Magic Chan Sonichu is all powerful, right? We should yeah, we should right. all be fucking terrified right now because Magic well, uh, Chan oh. Sonichu contains within him the ability to basically fuck up everything. I, I had heard he that Magic Chan is having trouble. completely obliterate our entire timeline. But does Magic does Magic Chan retain that ability in the body of? I heard mild that Magic Chan is having Western difficulties Chandler. using his psychic powers in Christine's body. This is what I heard. You know what? It's it's not out of the realm of possibility that maybe Magic Chan's powers. If only just don't one of us was a here. fucking Christorian and could dig into this deep for us and do an addendum to a I almost mean, million viewed video. I mm-hmm. mean, there's there's no there's no precedent. There's no precedent for this, right? We are in a bold new era, right? The dimensional merge is happening, and this is its harbinger. It's happening. Okay. You know, this is like remember those guys, those like uh, yeah, I mean, you know, end times, Judgment Day guys are like guys. I'm yeah. telling you. Like August eighth, two thousand and twelve, it's happening. That's the yes. date of the apocalypse. I really did, wish did Chris you would see, give did a Did you hard see the date. Internet Historian video? Because I saw the Internet Historian. I, I video. certainly did, man. I certainly yeah. did. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, one of my favorite YouTubers, Internet Historian, mm-hmm. uh, just makes such high quality stuff. But in any case, he's, he's uh, great. Hey, my arms are. <laughs> shout, shout out to Internet Historian if he's listening. A big old fat shout out to Internet uh, Historian. Give us, give us, give us a. Give us a plug. Give us a plug, lads. Give us a Ooh, subscribe, a like, tune. patron $5 for bonus episodes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking speaking of these oh, devil oh, tongues oh, and these devilish oh, activities. I've got some shit I'm going to oh, write yeah? down so I don't forget to mention it. But I don't okay, go ahead. It right write it now. down. Okay. Uh, uh, well, I've got, I've got a truly devilish uh, uh, point I wish to raise at some point. Um, speaking of, we were talking about Satan. We're yeah. talking about hell. We're talking about the dimensional merge. And all of these things culminate recently in, in just, uh, let me see, in four simple notes. Da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Sans <laughs> is in Smash Bros. I, I saw it. It's, I saw it it's live. Really, it it's oddly makes fucked. me really happy. It's so funny because me and my friend were watching direct together. Well, not together. She was watching in her house. Me, but we were talking to each other on Discord. Anywho, yep. Uh, yep. And you know, I, I said, you know, wouldn't it be funny if like Sans got announced in Smash? <laughs> 
<laughs> this is as much. I mean, as people have been memeing for. about it for. I know, God, but it, like, over a year now. I, yeah. Like, I just like I was like, imagine the pandemonium of the internet if Sans got and as I didn't expect I mean, it. Exactly I said it in the t- yeah, I it's said sad. it in the tone that I didn't expect it to Fucking happen. Terry Bogart, that uh, apparently like South Americans or Mexicans like love obsessively. They love King of Fighters. Totally overshadowed by Sans and one song, Megalovania, yeah. getting mm. into into the new game. It's uh. I mean, I don't really know much about Terry, so I can't really speak on that. He just he's seems like another kind of boring fighter character. And that's right. Roast me in the comments. Yeah, oh, fuck Nate, you. No I, King of I, I literally no don't know Bogart. anything about Terry, Whatever. but where can I marry him? He is uh, a very handsome you hear, young man. Did you hear the, no cool, the, cool, the interesting thing? All the, the Japanese fans of Smash are saying that Terry's just a jacked Pokemon trainer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw, I saw the meme. I saw the meme. And like, Ness that's is like so the, the base form. Then the, the Pokemon trainer is the middle evolution. And then Terry is like the final evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that uh, that uh, uh, Pokemon trainer and Terry walk down, they see each other and they point to each other and they go, same hat! Same hat <laughs> each other. They better. Uh, have, you seen, have you seen the uh, the fatal cutie fem swapped Terry Bogart? No. Is well, that you're a thing? about to, so get oh, ready for Oh, is it, it in the show notes, magically, uh, I'm posting sudden? it right now. All this right. is, like, official art from, like, one of the recent games or something. Okay, in uh, Gross Discussing Audio Links. Okay, there you go. Okay, that I, is I, I, awesome. I'll, yeah, oh. I also posted the evolution. All right, <laughs> it's about what I expected. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. But this is, uh, I mean, this should be a, the one of the one of the character model swaps for Terry, <laughs> yeah, in my that, humble That's opinion. his Echo Fighter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. <laughs> Man, uh, Terry's fucking like cool the, though. Terry's I, so I, pretty. Terry's super Look at his long I hope hair. they do. I, I hope if you fight, uh, if you fight fucking Ken, they they bring back that uh, SNK the, versus the Capcom hat toss, where he gives him his hat. hat. Toss. Fucking it's legendary. So cool. Legend. It's so cool. Legend. I heard other Love people. They're game. just saying Terry is just Ken with hat, and that's you know also, pretty accurate. Since we were talking about Sam, <laughs> that's all you need. Uh, Toby Fox uh, was like um, made music for uh, Game Freak's game. Yeah, Toby yeah, Fox on, uh, is a chat now. Yeah, uh, Wait, for Game Freak? What, what game for Game Freak? The, their oh. new game, Town, or uh, was it Something. Little Town Hero, or whatever the fuck it's called? Yeah, now? that's the one. Oh. He's doing He's the soundtrack making the music for, for it, which means the music's going to be pretty great. Yeah. And also, this was another one of the big things. Did you guys fucking hear, you probably, I mean, you probably did, you watched it, that he went to Sakurai's house and, and they Smash. played Smash Bros. Oh. <laughs> like, he's just become, let's just, let's not forget people. Fucking Undertale, man. Fucking Toby Fox has made one fucking video game. He's made one he made video two game. Games. And he as made a result, Deltarune. Deltarune is a demo. It is a demo for a game. It's it basically does not a count. chapter release of a Well, uh, then game. I guess we should count his fucking ROM hack for Earthbound 2. No, but the point is, it's not a complete game. That's sort of. That's exactly. Made, it's in a gray like, area. He's, okay, I'd say his total games add up to maybe like 1.85 games. Okay, fine. <laughs> and I'm rounding a hard down to okay. one. <laughs> and he, <laughs> this fucking guy made one fucking video game and is he's literally like the prince of the game industry. Like Kojima and Sakurai and I don't he's know. Bowed. When's, when's he going to get me too? Toby it's Fox only a matter of time. Room. The Toby, he's too private. He doesn't do anything. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe he is out there smashing Japanese puss right now. It's he's just he's living like the literal. Dr- he was making Undertale in fucking Andrew Hussey's basement, literally, and was just living like a fucking cockroach parasite piece of shit. He makes his fucking demo. You hear that, like Ben? The There's hope for us ever. yet. Mm, I just yeah, I can't I believe know, the meteoric rise that I this one guy has had. It's it's inspiring, honestly. All right, and, cut. and uh, fucking Hussy has got to be on suicide watch no. right now, seeing how Hussy just, uh, just makes me Toby. roll my eyes. It's bullshit. What what's what? bullshit? It's bullshit. It's all Toby bullshit. Fox. Oh, Toby success? Fox. You know, whatever. No, so he lucked into so a really happy, good though. video game idea that Look. everyone loved. Oh, great! Is he so much better than the rest of us? No. Yes. No oh, one's saying he's no. better. I mean, he's, it's he's just he's incredible. He ma- he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. The dude okay, made a good, fucking good, sick good. product, and he's like, yeah. He, he made a pretty getting good product. all all the accolades for it. Look, if it, if it wasn't a good product, he's living the dream. Good for him. Good for him. Like Toby did not. Toby did not predict the 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 mimetic rise of Undertale it's all it's almost baffling to me to realize that like wow a lot of these guys have not actually put in the amount of time or like even played Undertale but they just love the Sans memes and they <laughs> love you know Megalovania and those are those are crazy popular memes and stuff it's weird for me to think that these people don't actually appreciate the actual game as much mm. as they should but well, it is like one of the best it, it's still that's how, in my life normies top. don't it appreciate do, it, it do be like that sometimes it, it do it truly do but uh, 
it, the, the Megalovania is in Smash Bros. I cannot fucking believe it. Its original usage was in the ROM hack as the final boss theme of his like Halloween Earthbound yeah. fucking thing. It's all, it all comes back. It started with Nintendo. It ended with Nintendo. It's incredible. It's fucking What a journey. Incredible. What a legend. Nintendo's what a god. I like I, I, What an inspiration. I, I, I'm, I feel supreme jealousy, and I also feel... Uh, Let's... I'm happy yeah. for him. Let's, I'm genuinely yeah. happy for him. Let's let's end Nintendo. <laughs> okay. No. Let's let's put let's put uh, let's mm-hmm. get like Sakurai and uh, Ko, Ko, uh, Kojima. Let's okay. let's put Kojima. them in to- let's put them in Toby's shoes and see what they can make <laughs> in his shoes. Right. Like let's take let's take mm-hmm. our big developers that have like a big corporate backing behind them. You mm-hmm. know, obliterate them and put them in Andrew Hussey's basement and say, all right, what, what can <laughs> what can you do, huh? Well, what you just you gotta go back to their early career. Huh? Uh, it, yeah, that's a fair question. Toby Fox. Yeah. I mean, look at the like the everything in Undertale is extremely simple. Like the gameplay, it's just like yeah. moving around a keyboard. It obviously doesn't look amazing. I mean, the art's good for what it is, but it's very right. It's it obviously, was, you know, the it was dialed back and scale to be appropriate for the man. It's just that the, the ideas that he did work with, like the whole resetting, remembering things that happen, like the different timelines, the the amazing way that it you had can a write great hook. genocide or pacifist or whatever. That's all you need. Like, that's the good shit. That's, yeah. that's the shit that makes it. It had a great hook that the rest of the game never quite lived up to. I disagree, but... Uh, the, time, the time shenanigans were never quite as good as they were in the Toriel fight. I agree. I th- that was I feel the purest like, okay, concentration. Pay, may, is this a hot take that I feel like the the Toriel fight promised more to to like it sort of implied that there would be more to the timelines thing later on, and it never really even got as good as that ever again. Well, um, you know, Ben, it's hard I would to totally say. agree it, that within within like the demo, the Toriel demo, um, it, like it is like basically it's the perfect packaged way yeah. to show off how that mechanic works. I would, yeah. I, and like, so it's true. Like the game is and so it, much longer. And it's longer the single best that, instance of it. In the I, I, whole I, definitely I, mean, like, I definitely agree. I definitely agree. It's because like, you're not that far in a game that you wouldn't feel sorry about resetting the game. You know, like once you're further in the game, it's sure. like, I might as well stick with what I have. Well, it just takes right. more commitment. Well, if you another want. Thing, I mean, I played that game like five times. Another and thing to I keep in mind all the with, and... with this is that like mm-hmm. the Toriel fight was the demo and that was like what, like a year removed from the full game. So you play through the demo yeah. and you have like 365 days of being excited for this game and imagining all the ways it could, mm-hmm. they, you could play with this concept. But I feel like if if there was no Undertale demo, I don't think the Toriel fight would be as impact not as impactful, but like it wouldn't be such a huge like schism, you know? It would just be another yeah, part of yeah. the game. I think giving that year to just kind of ruminate on what that implied for the rest that, of the game makes it stand helped. out more. That like, if you if we'd been given the whole game, we would not I, I appreciate it, the Toriel bit as much. I, I never played true. the demo despite Ben's insistence at that point. <laughs> I did, yeah. I had that. My friend showed me the demo a couple months, a couple months before the game itself came out, and uh, I was pretty excited about it. I yeah. don't know, like, yeah, that bit. Like, I mean, maybe, maybe it is. I think it did because because it was just a demo. Like, you had the chance to like play it through a couple times, and it was short. And like, yeah, you got to experience mm-hmm. like, oh my god, this this it like it it under it knows what's going on and it like adjusts and like it knows what you're gonna do and it, mm-hmm. it is like dyna- dynamically responds to your fucking around with the save states that's pretty neat and then in the real game it's like eh, yeah we did it once well uh, okay that that's where you're exaggerating a bit because i like, don't think i am well it happens well. a little bit late like there are a couple of moments when the game will be aware that like you previously saved and had a game over and restarted well, look, and, I, I that's totally just, agree. That's just the same gimmick again. Basically, everything that happens between the Toriel thing and the very end, when you do all the finale stuff, kind of doesn't really matter towards this particular point of the resetting stuff. And it's all funny and humor, blah, blah, blah. But on this point, which we all know is the best part of Undertale, mechanically and like story-wise and whatnot, and game design-wise, the it, it's the fact that you can do these pacifist and genocide endings and like that only in very specific ones do you get the ultimate super epic boss fight against Sans, yeah, and then that's, that's doing that's the genocide nothing. ending. That's not that innovative, though. No, that's no, it, just, it's, that's it's literally not. just I Renegade like the, versus I like how, Paragon. I like how the game... That's not the end of my point, though, because the okay. end of the point is that even after doing the genocide ending and you literally destroy the world and whatnot, you can... I mean, I talk about this in my, in my Undertale video, but uh, I'm just restating the point from that. But it's that you can do that ending. We know, like, The game is teaching us there have been consequences to our actions and everything, including the Toriel thing at the beginning. And you you do genocide, you destroy the world, but then the game gives you the ability to reset. It's that whole thing yeah. where 
It, you I restart, know, I know and then you say. play through the game again. You can do a pacifist ending, but you're but that's when you get the true final thing is after that extra playthrough when it turns I, out the char is still evil. That's when it's like, oh, it's making a larger point. And I get yes, okay, okay. I guess also, I guess it's true that that is sort of the same thing on the scale of the entire game, and that mm -hmm. is pretty cool. But I no, agree, I that's different yeah. over like a 20, oh, yeah. 30 oh, hour experience as opposed to like a one hour experience. But I mean, so in terms of the less. amount of content, what you're just, you're, you're, what you're describing is literally like the addition of like a two second moment. At the I end don't think it. it's, it's a unfair. good moment. It's a really good moment. I think that's the but point it's, though. It's, it's, it it well, takes that entire slow burn of playing the game multiple times to like have that okay. hit home. You're like, all oh. All it takes is that okay. two second I mean, moment. I'm not point, point. I, I really like how I do. I mean, that is a great thing. It is a great moment in the game. And it talked to you when you, did, you when you were recording. The game knew that you were recording. Or it's like, haha, look at those fools watching your recording. You, you're no better oh, than playing the yeah, game. Yeah, there were those bits about, like, even the people who watch Let's Plays and stuff, they're just as bad. They're just voyeurs to the yeah, slaughter. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's yeah, not... Cool. Like, that's, that's a different that's, point. That's but, meta, and it's yeah, funny, and it's, I wanted, but it's I not, like, doesn't blow my mind I really or anything. like that point. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. I, ha I haven't All seen right. it done before, and I liked it when it was. I, done I think there. it's fair to say that Undertale, the whole game, the tutorial. It's I, I absolutely agree, Ben. Everyone should have played the tutorial. Uh, the, the peak experience was, I think, what you and I had playing the yeah. ex playing the tutorial, ruminating on it for months, then playing the full game with that in mind. Because people who just play the game now, they n like almost nobody is going to actually Fools. do the reset stuff with Toriel when they first play. Wait, They're the going to be like, Oops, I fucked up. The tutorial? Oh my god. Oh fucking Are shit. you fucking shitting me right now? I can't <laughs> believe I never saw this connection. Uh, okay, guys, you're joking, right? You're joking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I what? never joke. All right. <laughs> well, in any case, uh, uh, I, I think that it, like, Homestuck, God, back God, in the day. God, it was a pun. God, it was a pun all along. Oh, my God. That... I, believe that. <laughs> I think time travel <laughs> did, currently, as I exist now, time travel did more with, or sorry, Homestuck did more with time travel than I've ever seen in any other medium. And so, like, it's the pinnacle of, like, time travel stories. And I think that Undertale... I'm sure someone could do it better, you know, eventually. I think it's the pinnacle of, like, meta-narrative in video games, using, like, mechanics uh, and stuff. Mate, it's, that's it's my I think it's the best it's example so far. Yeah, sure. that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying it's the best that could ever be, but... I mean... Uh, best I've you ever know, seen. I haven't read House of Leaves. I do want to do that. That that could beat it. That could Maybe, beat it. I don't know. It looks pretty good. I guess you could <laughs> cheat and say that we're only talking about video games, but fuck that. Let's talk about all mediums. All mediums. I never oh. played the Doki Doki Literature Club, but it has that sort of shenanigans, doesn't it? One day I'll do that, maybe. It's supposed to be pretty amazing. Like, you edit, like, the actual data files. I mean, yeah. that's just programming, but if they make it part of the gameplay, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty mm -hmm. impressive. Eh. Uh, well, there you go. Sans is in Undertale and also in Smash Brothers. What do you know? Sans. Dimensional yeah, merge is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. This is evidence. <laughs> um, have you have you guys heard like a, a really stupid? Well, not a, not even a theory, but a comparison. How Sans mm -hmm. just looks like Steven Universe was without the skin. Sure, I mean, yeah. he also looks like Ness. Steven, uh, you Steven know. Yeah, no, but like the art style. Sans. <laughs> yeah. I, I've seen the thing that's like, actually, St uh, Steven with his new pink jacket from the movie, if you just make that blue, he looks even more like Sans now, <laughs> who's been wearing a jacket the whole time. Speaking, so. speaking They're slowly, of The Steven timelines are slowly coming together. Yeah, speaking of Steven, new movie, new movie. I want to discuss the new, new movie. Sure, let's. We, me and Tom have seen it, so I'm happy yeah. to talk about it. Yes, yeah, so, sorry, sorry, Ben. <laughs> you just, oh, you just, God. you had to, you had to watch it. You didn't, you, you missed. Ben, just go download the movie, watch it on like seven x speed, and like halfway through you can jump in. I've got my own shit to say. You fucking cowards. <laughs> well, go on, Mage. What did you think? I just like um. I, I didn't know what to expect when I when when I went into the movie. All I knew about Same. the movie when I went in was like Stephen has a neck. That's all. <laughs> That's all the spoilers Indeed. I got. That's some real and, character development right there. Yeah, and then like when I when I saw I saw immediately like you know the, those pastel colors on Stephen. I was like, oh, I wonder, mm -hmm. I wonder uh, how long is it gonna excuse take for? Me. Yeah, yeah, excuse me. Yes, yeah, so okay, tight... continue. <laughs> <laughs> how long is it gonna take for internet to be like, oh, look at the trans colors on Stephen? Oh be uh, yeah, yeah like, those colors. <laughs> Stephen does say trans rights. Uh, this is his only line in the film, as I understand. <laughs> well, now I gotta fucking watch it. 
I'm, I'm, I'm not against the idea or anything. It's just like, oh, hey, those hey, are for pretty people who, who hate trans, I'll just give you an out. It's also a fact that the four colors he's wearing do reflect the colors of the Diamond Authority. So there's your out if you want. Like, no, 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 it's not trans. It's, uh, you oh, know, that there you just go. means the You're Diamond welcome. Authority is trans. Thanks, God. <laughs> But yeah, so and and I and I watched it. Uh, it was a musical, and but they were like sure sing talking. Um, I did like a few of the uh, again, like the villain song is one of the best songs in any. W- which one? Which one? There's several. Uh, both, all of them. <laughs> all of okay, the gotcha. Songs. I mean, you could mean other friends, or you could mean uh, uh, drift away, et cetera, yeah, et cetera. I, I liked both of them. Those are the like, two songs that I really liked. I guess I mm, liked. Mm. Mm, no, okay, no. I'm I'm a little bit torn on that song that they sang at the beginning and at the end with the well, yeah, we adore you, you you you're not hurt. We know you're not hurt. Whatever hurting. comes my way, cause as long as I can say here I am in the future with my friends. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, good. I I completely forgot that song. <laughs> And I mean, like all of them are pretty okay songs. They're not they're not bad or anything. Uh, I remember some of them better than others. Mm-hmm. Uh, just uh, with a lot of Steven songs, uh, I'm probably gonna get flagged for this, but I don't like most of the Steven Universe songs. Like I love, uh, I, I agree. Like, mm-hmm. I, I like agree. like one or two of them that were more like better sang, but like most of them are just like what, what, what like Steven on a ukulele or something. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's interesting. But, uh, I didn't like most of the songs, but like in this, in this, in this movie, they were pretty good. I like them. They're they're nice. I uh, nice. I liked I liked Pearl's explanation song. I don't know what it's called, but it was uh, it's funny. it's got like a long like Pearl Boot dot exe <laughs> name or something. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, it's just it was it was quite something cute. is clearly wrong. I love the animation at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was point. it was really fun. Um, when when I saw Spinel uh, with how with her rubber hose animation, I bet and you love. I bet you nutted instantly when you saw Spinel. Why Spinelle is the internet no. going crazy for no, that's, Sp- Spinel? Okay, that's she, the, that's, that's the thing it. because as soon as I yeah. saw Spinel, I was like, oh, the internet is gonna eat her up. She has that. <laughs> she has that. You know. Oh, we she could like... be your angle or your devil <laughs> thing going <laughs> we, on. We, we like we like old animations. We like rubber hose. We like mm. Cuphead and and stuff like that. I yep. knew I knew the internet was gonna eat her up, and it did. And like I don't have a problem with it, but it's just like, oh, uh, I I don't want to say it's better because, but it like it felt weird to see her so animated in comparison to everyone else being all rubber hosey and stretchy and stuff. And I know that's her shtick, but it's just so weird mm-hmm. to see her like that, like. Uh, so she's you know that sort of gem is like are all spinels meant to be like rubber hosey little sidekick character things? Pres- presumably, presumably we don't see any others, but I yeah, mean, I it's guess. just like no. it's, it's, it's yeah, it's just. It I just I just like Spinel because I'm like oh person. the Steven mm-hmm. Universe staff can actually animate good. <laughs> Sick. They can. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm sure you guys heard. I loved the the balloon inflating and deflating sound effects as she stretched. There was so much soul, <laughs> so much soul in that animation. I I I did I did end up liking her. I thought I wasn't gonna like mm-hmm. her initially when I saw her. I thought she was gonna be super annoying, uh, but no, nah, she's fine. I like her. And, she uh, had her. Mo- I mean, even to the characters, she was rather annoying. To uh, yeah. I mean, intentionally so. Yeah, uh, but there's but there's like annoying for a purpose, like within within reason in in the show, and like just being mm, yeah, so yeah, annoying yeah. that you feel annoyed. Rather mm-hmm. than like you mm-hmm. understand Which she that this character's really... meant... yeah, she never yeah, did. She, she's mm-hmm. she's good. Mm-hmm. I like her. And then like her backstory and the song, just like oh, that's sad. I like I like this. <laughs> I uh, mean, uh, this is really sad, but yeah. Well, hey, if I can tragic. give my opinion, yeah, go ahead. Like, I'm, um, I'm done. <laughs> I uh, this was one of my favorite movies I've seen in a million years. This was like a nine to a ten for me. I fucking loved this movie. Not every song was like a perfect 10 or anything. I love this movie so I watched this movie like maybe four or five times uh all in all. <laughs> I spent like a day in meditation at my deep feelings about the the issues at play in this children's cartoon which are incredibly poignant to the issues of today. And uh, I recorded a Weagua that is currently being edited about this exact movie hey, and will be out by the time people it. hear this. I loved this fucking movie. I love Spinel. I love the usage of, I mean, Pink Diamond, piece of shit, but like great <laughs> usage of her character. Because if I can just spoil just one of the themes of the movie. The theme here is about 
family. Well, okay, it, it's about family. It's a, it's about family. Yeah. What happens when? Okay, like St- this movie takes place. Um, it's Stephen and it's all the like the song is about like happily ever after never ends. That's like the opening. They're in their happily ever after. They've solved all problems. Uh, racism has dropped to zero. We did it, you guys. And all of a sudden, so life is perfect. But Spinell. Spinell was an old friend of Pink Diamonds who got left behind. I won't go into how. You should go watch the fucking movie and watch all of Steven Universe, which has unequivocally gone down in history. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. I just, it's, I love everything about, okay, I don't love everything about it, but it just overall, it is one of the greatest shows I've ever seen, and I go back to watch it all the time. But, okay, back on the point. The theme here, happily ever after happened, but Spinell was literally not included in everyone else's happiness. Everyone in the world got a happy ever after, but Spinell was forgotten and left behind. And so she comes back full school shooter. And this, to me, <laughs> is exactly like one of the most important this is issues. just like when Sonichu didn't mm-hmm. accept the CPU goddesses and decided to shoot up the mall, the Charlottesville mall. <laughs> did that happen different... recently? Uh, yes. It Wait, did. Sonichu did that? Listen, wait for my lecture. Okay? Oh my wow. God. Okay. Okay. It. I'll get, I'll get into it. <laughs> so, I mean, everything about it, like, uh, to me, it felt very obvious that this movie was kind of about the exact, like, it's not literally about a school shooter, but it's about those feelings that those people have, like, when you don't fit in, when you're bullied, when you're not appreciated by the people around you, when everyone else seems happy, but you're left behind. And Spinell is quite clear. She's like, I came here to do violence against strangers because I hate the world now. This is just exactly the kind of thing that we're seeing. And I thought it was packaged so poignantly, so beautifully. And the song Drift Away, I I feel like the song Drift Away is the kind of song I could feel myself committing suicide to. I want to make a suicide playlist. I think okay. I've said this before. But this is this 100% qualifies as a song that you want... I, I almost felt like it was taking me to like a dark place as a person because no the, kidding. The, the movie has, no, I'm not joking. The movie has a happy ending, but for whatever reason, the strongest feelings in the movie are the lowest point where we learn Spinell's backstory and she sings the song. I listened to that song over and over and over again. And I felt myself like drifting into a dark place with the character. And this is why I spent like a whole day like meditating on it. And then, like, I kind of had to force myself, like, no, Nate, like, it, it's okay. Like, things are good. It's not all bad. Like, I, I wanted to say, like, were you, getting, fuck, were you getting radicalized? I was getting, I was getting hardcore radicalized Whoa. against Pink Diamond, and I wanted to murder her and her whole family. Uh, it, but then I, I kind of had to jolt myself out of it. Like, no, the world is not an all bad place. Pink Diamond, you know, th- there are actually kind of reasons that aren't just pure malignancy in what resulted in basically a torturous life for for Spinell. There are reasons that are just maybe more carelessness or immaturity. You shouldn't say that, like, everything's bad because one person did something that ended up hurting you really, really bad. And it uh, really affected me in a deep, deep way. And it kind of was a little bit too strong for me. I couldn't handle it. So I had to just I guess uh, I, okay. Guess I, gotta, guess I gotta watch this movie now. I well, you know I don't I feel bad guess, even over hyping it. Guess I gotta it. go get my own opinion. Huh? I had zero hype going into this movie, and I saw Spinell, and I thought like, oh, this is gonna be shit. I was so blown away by how much I love this fucking movie, and frankly, how much I love Steven Universe overall. Right now, it's making me emotional just thinking about like taking a journey with these characters and seeing how happy things end up and how they bring up issues like this like steven at the end he's like nah happily ever after like it's a lie was kind of his point like there will always be more work to do we've always All got to help time people you were pretending so much for my <laughs> happy <laughs> ending That's exactly it but I, I i you know i don't want to go on too long it just it made me feel I, so many it's things it's interesting because like I'm, I'm i'm curious yeah. to see your uh your weag where you're gonna do on this because e- the movie yeah. for me was like a seven maybe a seven. Um, well, I yeah. I think that, like, my, I mean, if you look at, like, the kind of thing, this appeals, something's just hit your strike zone, you know? Yeah. And, like, having a movie like this, which, it's it's almost like, it's like a, a, a movie about, like, the kid who was bullied in school, who, like, didn't find happiness and, like, decided to do terrible things. But instead of, like, be painting that guy as, like, purely evil... It, like, tries to understand why they feel that way. Right. And even the people who made them feel that way, they have some reasons for what they did. 
A lot of people are saying think, Pink Diamond's like pure evil. I, I think no, that's I an exaggeration. No, I don't think Pink Diamond is evil. I think the great thing about the movie, I, I think yeah. the themes are the strongest part for sure. Mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. Steven Universe has always been pretty good at painting everybody in shades of gray. Like there's no yeah. like hardcore villain. You know, that's why everybody can get redeemed pretty much because there's possibly something to them. Possibly too much so, but yeah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> possibly to its detriment at some degree. But like Sometimes, it's it's maybe. it's playing it's playing to its thematic messaging and it sticks to it, you know, yeah, yeah, through yeah. hell or high water is that everybody has like some nuance to them. And that's mm-hmm. cool. Um, Spinell was great. I really liked Spinell's like arc and like what they did with her and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, it was a good way of like leveraging more of like getting to know pink diamond. And I guess m- maybe it's like a personal thing for me because the movie does yeah. like one of the things that I just, is like a personal pet peeve in fiction is when like they do something to the characters that you know is temporary and is definitely going to be reversed. So you just have to sit there and wait for it to go back to normal. Cause like, I mean that's that, that is the plot of the movie. 100%. It's like the plot of the first half of the movie. They cut, because like I I was afraid that it was going to do it the entire movie. Uh, Cause Mm -hmm. like spoilers for anybody who hasn't watched, like go watch it. It is worth watching. Uh, But in the beginning of the movie spinel has this weapon that resets a gem to factory settings essentially she hard mm-hmm. resets everybody so steven mm-hmm. loses all of his control of his powers and all the gems go back to like stock versions of the gems without any of their character development like they don't know who each other is and shit and like you know immediately this isn't gonna stick and like that's like a I don't know. For some reason, when when movies do that or narratives do that, I'm like, oh, now I just got to slog through like shenanigans until we get back to the inevitable end state of like, you know, bringing like, everyone back to so square many one. Songs, there's only so many songs I can take about how much Ruby and Sapphire love each other. <laughs> right. Like I when when that was initially revealed during the season three finale or whatever, that was like the highlight of the show uh, when right. it was stronger than you or yeah, whatever it it's took called. the internet by storm. It was a huge, it was, big it was fucking incredible. deal. Because it was but, legit as fuck. But how many times do we need to have right. an episode about, yeah, so and like, so that section, on, honestly, their thing was kind of the most boring. Seeing Pearl reverted to factory set- settings was, was kind of more interesting because we haven't seen her that way right. really before. I mean, that was and we're probably kind of, the coolest part of that section, but I just feel like that whole section didn't do a lot for the overall narrative because like we're talking about this like whole arc with spinel Mm -hmm. and everything i mean i totally agree and and i think even her just being there and trying to like fuck up the planet again was enough to be like yeah my happy ending's ruined we didn't need to kill all the characters here's my case for that on the one hand i totally agree with your points that makes makes perfect sense and i agree like they absolutely retreaded old ground uh for the sake of like i mean okay this is a movie it's been like i don't know Maybe like a year since there's been Steven Universe stuff. I felt I like, like it was like they yeah. did it to kind of establish the characters for people yeah, who might was, be coming in yes. blind. I definitely well. think, especially if people are probably going to jump into a movie before watching like five seasons of a show, that's something that I'm sure a decent number of people could do. And if you haven't watched any Steven Universe, I would recommend you don't do that. And instead you just watch the whole show, then watch the movie. But yeah. if you only got two hours and you're going to die, okay, then go watch the <laughs> yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's fine. Don't make like, peace I, with your family or anything. Just watch the Steven Universe Yeah, just movie. watch this movie. There was a utility, though. It even I has a suicide having... song in there if you want to end it like it 20 minutes It does have early. a suicide song, no <laughs> doubt. He, here's, here's the reason why I think that was a good usage. In, in part, because I, I still agree with your point. It was redundant for a lot of it. And we, we, like, we got to see fresh things, like Amethyst being reverted. We never seen her when she was first born. She does this like gimmick where uh, she just repeats things. She's got like a blank brain, basically. And I mean, th- th- there was that amazing payoff to that, where like they do a song that's based on the gimmick of repeating after me, which is like, that was like, I loved that touch. I thought that was so clever and such a genius way to like do that little progression for her. And then, like, Pearl is, like, a robot. She's just being, like, a servant. She gets, like, a new master with Greg. All great. Um, Okay, but the utility in, like, going over the love uh, of... Because, like, the way that they get their memories back is they relive their experiences together. So, like, Steven needs to, uh, you know, show Amethyst a fun time. They need to go do the activities they like to do. And uh, that'll, like, help her remember. They do their secret handshake. That helps her. Pearl. They need to like show. Pearl. They need to like reproduce Pearl's plot development, so she realizes she can be free and be her own person. Doesn't need I to do just like, be a slave um, or whatever. The, the, that like her her turning point sort of uh, wasn't mm-hmm. um, Rose Quartz. It was her own freedom. 
so to speak. Oh, well, the, yeah, that's true. The absence of a master is mm-hmm. ultimately what, what did it. Yeah. But and, and then, like, Garn is the, the same thing. But, like, what the, the point I see to this, the reason why I like all of that was because in all these scenes, in every single scene where we see Pearl doing things and, and like, Amethyst doing things with Steven, like, reliving the moments, it's like we feel how much love Steven has for Amethyst and Pearl and Garnet and you know Ruby and Sapphire. We that, that's so apparent to us, and it, it, it makes me reflect. Thinking back, I did not like Amethyst very much at first. I love Amethyst now. I've become such a fan of all these characters. Okay, but the point of this is, we as the viewer and Steven himself love and have a huge attachment to these characters. So we feel that viscerally when we're trying to restore them to their memories. But that entire time. Spinel, who's been reverted to her, like, happy-go-lucky, you know, retarded, ki- mildly annoying uh, self, she is in. She is literally third-wheeling the entire right. time, and you can feel Steven doesn't really want her around. The contrast is so clear between how much Steven cares about, like, Amethyst, for example, versus not wanting to have to bother with Spinel. It's just a story about that annoying kid who's not terrible, but is hanging out with you anyway, and you don't really want them around. And this comes to like the final, the, the head during the, the song or whatever, where Spinell really recognizes like, oh wow, Steven likes them way more than me, which right. is exactly <clears throat> the problem that she had with Pink, uh, Pink Diamond. So like there was a utility no, to all that stuff that I thought was enjoyable on its own I anyway. I totally so. agree. And yes. that 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 definitely it served a purpose and like mm-hmm. for Splinel setting up like the fact like oh I don't mm-hmm. I'm not cared mm-hmm. for in the way that these people are and like it's just like I'm mm-hmm. history's essentially repeating itself you know exactly like, Which, and, I, mean, and you know, I could see people being I just bored by that, but... personally because that that certain mm-hmm. plot element drives me up a wall I would rather they've done it a different way well that's um, understandable that's so understandable the the other thing that I kind of I don't want to say I had an issue with it, but I was kind of confused, mm-hmm. not even confused about, but just like kind of shrugging at was the end of the movie. The way, the okay. way they resolved the, the, the conflict with Spinell is okay, that yeah, let's, let's like, talk about like, it. like super big spoiler. This is the end of the movie is that she goes back with the diamonds mm-hmm. and she goes back to home world and, and hangs out with them. And the diamonds are like, Oh, like you remind us of, of pink because the whole reason the movie starts with them wanting Steven to stay on home world because mm-hmm. you're pink and we miss pink. And we fetishize pink, I guess, and uh, stay like with that, us. Yeah. And the end of the movie is that Spinell serves that same purpose. So she goes back and like they, mm-hmm. our guests mm-hmm. are going to fetishize her. And so she can have friends now. And it's just like, not only are the diamonds like, like, that's not really healthy, you know, like fetishizing someone who's dead like that. Because like the whole point of the movie is talking about how like there is no happily ever after and like things are always changing and you have to move yeah. on. Yeah. And like the diamonds don't move on they never have and they assumedly now never will because they're just going to project all of their musings and I mean, desires the, the, for pink in onto their own Spinell. song they, they repeat as if they're trying to convince themselves the line they're like yes we know that you're not right. her but like it's, it's fucking like they're weird trying to convince us that they think that but i'm a little skeptical if they really believe so uh, that's the thing tom i agree the ending and a lot a lot of the movie honestly like was it it was this easy to heal spinel's wound and like make her not a school shooter anymore like i, I mean what i there, there's some logic to that but the overall thing that a lot of people are criticized steven universe for and me too is that it's it it is a supremely optimistic version this movie sounds of like really everything weird. This movie sounds really strange. It is interesting, and I mm, love it personally. Okay. But yeah, uh, you should, you should, we we should definitely watch it. it. I wish I watched this movie. Now. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not too late, even though you know everything that happens. If you want a link, I got con- one for I'm you. I'm so confused. Okay, I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll just have to go figure it out. Yeah, what can watch. I do? What can I do about this problem of having I not think, seen I a think movie? It's, I, no think we need, I think Ben needs to watch this movie, and we need to have Stephen Forniverse. Oh, well, this is kind of it right now. I don't know if we yeah. should do another one. <laughs> I mean, then make a separate episode. Ne- just, next episode, just I'll you. come back and be like, I have some opinions about <laughs> your guys' opinions about this movie, uh, and no one will give ben, a Ben, just, just watch the movie as soon as we're done, and then send me like a five-minute take sure, of your sure. thoughts, and I'll splice it in right here. <clears throat> All right. Future Ben here. Uh, I watched it. Uh, I watched Steven Universe movie at 1.2 times speed. Um... Uh, I guess I, I liked it. Uh, the music was pretty good. Didn't like that one song, The Truth, the Garnet song. Um, didn't like basically anything to do with like the gems reverting and coming back, getting them back. Oh, we gotta, 
We got to make them remember. Garnet remembering doesn't make any sense. Well, it doesn't make any sense. That part's terrible. I wish that weren't, like, half the movie. Um, whatever. S- teen Steven's cool. Fusing with his dad. Yeah, it's weird, but it's true that the messaging about fusion has been inconsistent. So, whatever. I don't know why... I don't know why... I don't know why Steven Greg fusion is like ripped because like they're both fat. So why is a fusion of them ripped? I don't know. Whatever. Um, best part of the movie, hands down. I mean, I mean, it's all about sp- Spinel. Spinel. Fuck. How do they say it? It's all about Spinel. It's all about evil Spinel chewing the scenery, mugging for the camera, doing cool poses and looking awesome and doing cool fights. And those like, those, like, two scenes that you can tell are animated by, like, an anime studio that look fucking awesome. They're so fucking cool. Holy shit. Um, and the ending's... The ending's dumb. The ending about they take they take Pink... They take Spinel back, and they're like, oh, we'll, we'll love you instead. It's, it's dumb. But, I mean, the diamonds are all dumb. They've always been terrible. Nobody likes the diamonds, so whatever. Nothing is ruined. Um, it's, it's contrived in the end. Whatever. Is the Earth fucked? Seems like the Earth's, like, fu- I don't know. She injected the whole thing of poison. It was supposed to kill the entire Earth. I don't know why they're so fucking calm that whole time. Um, it's just about Spinel. It's just about her cool faces. Oh, so, so fucking evil. Uh, so fucking sick. All right, yeah, go watch it. Fuck, maybe I will. Maybe I just fucking will. Hey, la- last I'll point, give you though, that. about the, 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 the other thing that seems... Okay. Like, they once, there was one thought I had about the ending, too, which is just like, uh, so, as you said, at the beginning, they want Steven. Okay, Steven, at the end of season five, they're like, Steven, you're pink. We want you back because you're pink. Like, sure, you're weird now and you're a little fat boy, but doesn't matter. You're pink. It's like, they, they were, it's understood to be that, like, they understand at the end because, like, some crazy shit happens. Pink is gone. Steven is here to stay. Um, that, uh, like, like, Steven is not pink anymore, but he kind of is, I mean, it's her son. It's, at the very least, it's Pink's son. So that's a pretty big connection. So you can see why they'd want Steven around. I think, but I think end, more to the point yeah. is that, like, diamonds don't reproduce like humans do. So from their perspective, mm-hmm. this is still pink. Like, that was the whole mm-hmm. point in the beginning. And I, you know, sure, like, you sure. can't really reframe there are someone's I mean, that, understanding. That's Pink's diamond. That's Pink's gem. Like right. you like, can't change who you from are. From their there she is. entire cultural perspective, like that is still Pink, and so and that's totally understandable. Right. But, it, but like, so like, but my point is like, once they accept, even if they accept that Stephen isn't Pink anymore and that he's like different, there's still a very strong connection there. Spinel, on the other hand, is just like a friend of Pink's, basically. Right. But they're and yes, yeah, she's very simple. Like she's designed to look like Pink with like the poofy pants, and she's fun and. It seems like they're almost too willing to accept this as a replacement for Steven. And they just, like, leave as soon as they've got Spinel. That seems... Okay, again. Especially considering they showed up to stay with Steven on Earth. Yeah, but then they were like, well, and then I mean, they're just they like, well, I guess we have this facsimile of of pink now, so that I guess so we can just leave. That they 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 were willing to stay in a place where they really didn't like just to be with them. God, everyone wants to suck Steven's cock. So this is literally like that that wait, thing. Wait, wait. Uh, See, speaking of Steven sucking cock, can we talk about yeah. how we gem mm-hmm. fucked no. his dad in this episode? Oh yeah, oh yeah. No. You know that he had two dicks. You know that. Yeah, he had yeah, two yeah. Dicks. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so Steven and Greg fuse and become a four-armed pompadour guitar-wielding madman. Two guitar-wielding, yeah. Who seduces Pearl, essentially, and, and they, yeah. wakes her up yeah. from her, her reset status. And it was very fucking strange. It was pretty sick. Because, like, yeah. like, again, the show has, like... The me- made it the pretty clear is, is that, muddled. that fusion muddled. is muddled. a metaphor for like relationships and possibly sex. They're just going back and forth on this. There's and no consistency. So I heard some people say it's just love, and it could be like a I don't know paternal. Or whatever. All right, all whatever, right. That's dude, that's a slippery whatever. slope argument right there. That's... I don't know how to feel about. It. They code it so hard in some episodes, but then they don't at all. And when's times. when's like, well, Connie, Stephen, and Greg gonna fuse into a? Th- a crazy monster. Gross. I mean, now we. <laughs> I mean, we've long known you could fuse every being in existence. You know, the all of Beach life, City fuses then... into the ultimate life form. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Maybe that's what God is. I don't know. Oh, it's like oh, it's like a Madoka Magica moment where like it turns out that what God is is all life form fused into one being who then 
go like does things retroactively through time to control things from the future. I'm just saying it's possible. That's what Madoka Magic There's did. There's enough basically. anime influence in Steven Universe to make that possible. Th- that's true. That's true. Um, okay, okay. Well, in any well, case, here's the I, thing: is this yeah. the end of Steven Universe? Like season six is, yeah. I believe, confirmed, and yeah, it is coming. Yeah, there's one more season. I think that they is kind strange. of should have ended it with this movie. It would have been a perfect I ending. I think yeah. you're right because mm-hmm. anything more at this point does seem it's downhill redundant. from here, baby. One hundred percent. Speaking of seasons ending, uh, j- j- just quickly question: yeah. Have you guys seen My Little Pony ended? Is it, is it over? Did, did the final episode yeah. actually I air? Saw, yeah, I saw, I, saw the, I saw some gifs of the of the final. Nate mm-hmm. spoiled shots. it like a week ago in the chat. I didn't I was, mean to. I thought I was, no. Well, I thought no I was. One would care, I was scrolling honest. through the chat, and you're like, "Oh, this is the ending," and you put in a spoiler tag. I'm like, "That's uh, considerate." And they're like, "Actually, fuck it. Here we go." I'm like, "Because oh. I thought no one cared. <laughs> I cared." <laughs> Twilight looks so shit. I have seven seasons nah. to go. God damn it! Not really. <laughs> like five. I got. I, uh, I got a ways to go. Nah, I'm you know what? Up. I, I do want to watch it. I might skip every episode up to that point, but I do want to watch it. It seems to be There's very similar. There's literally like one mm-hmm. episode, like the very final episode. It's like it it is a time skip forward, so you might as yeah. well just watch that. one. Is it really? Yeah, that's, that's exactly it. Like the kind of the story friendship. Oh, uh, things spoilers! That really by matter. the way, for MLP for the seven people who care. Uh, I mean, I I kind of care. I just I I spoil. I stumbled upon that. And I was like, well, yeah, all right, that's fine. I was doing so it's good. I, I dodged everything on Twitter. And I was like, all right, I can watch at some point in my leisure. But no, Nate comes Someone in. Someone spoiled it to you. Ruins well, so sorry. everything. Now I know. Twilight, I, uh, Twilight is fucked. Twilight is a fucking Celestia-sized horse with a big gl- glowy mane, but it looks like shit because she still has like the same kind of haircut and it doesn't look It doesn't right. look can, very can good. We, she was not designed to be this right. way. Implication that uh, Rainbow Dash and Applejack are gay together. It, that does seem to be the implication. What? It kind of seems, it kind of se- it's kind of implied, it kind of seems like maybe Fluttershy and Discord yeah. hook oh, yeah. up, which oh, I yeah, hate that. Definitely. I hate That's that. Are you telling me Rare no, Jack's I, not canon? I hate it's this It's not show. canon, dude. Zero out of ten. It's not canon. No, no, I'm done. I'm done. There's too, there's too many hints dropped throughout the we entire all know. show. I uh, hate pink, it. Pinkie Pie and Cheesy Oh, yeah, cheese that's sandwich. official. That is They're the fucking... Episode. They had a kid. Oh, yes. my <laughs> God! They had a kid, and it just looks like fucking curly hair oh, Fluttershy. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the like the one image I saw This sounds like a fucking like... nightmare. I don't want to watch yeah. it at all. <laughs> no, it's The fine. image I got it's spoiled fine. was, like, with all of them together, and I saw the little curly-haired Fluttershy thing. And they all have thing, And I was like, either, either Pinkie Pie got together with Cheese, or Pinkie Rarity, Pie got together with Fluttershy. <laughs> I guess Rarity just dies alone. Okay, that's that's fine. They that's saved fine. Rarity for me. She that's has a protege no, now. Rarity gets old, and her hair turns gray. And They're all old. They're all fucking old. They're all They're all gonna die. It's it's happening. Twilight's They're all gonna, gonna die, all die, and Twilight's gonna yeah. be. Remember also, how they said? You like, Wait, like... they're confirmed on Twitter saying Twilight wouldn't outlive everybody else, and they blatantly lie. Could because she's gonna kill herself when they all die. That's or maybe, why. maybe okay. she's okay. gonna. Yeah. Maybe and she's Discord gonna just rises from the magic. ashes. Is like my long game plan has finally paid off. Oh my! Maybe maybe, maybe she's gonna make everyone live forever. <laughs> she finds the magical. Know, I mean, well, that's kind of yeah, fucked she's up the in its own of way. magic. Yeah, so you know she could. There's uh, uh there was another thing. Oh, shit, it's what was bullshit? It? I tells you. Oh, I don't know. It's it's complicated. Oh oh um, apparently Luna and Celestia just retired. Yep. Just retired. They just retired. They're done. They're you just know done. They went. They went. They went to now. the pony version of Florida. <laughs> uh, this is the stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. You know, uh, look, we. I, I feel Lauren's like rolling over in her grave said, right now. <laughs> kind of like with Steven Universe. I feel like you can talk shit and you can roast it. I bet if I watched this episode, I bet I would love it. Um, it's, that's it's my okay. contention. It's and like I bet you, I would you, literally you cry. I bet. I, I bet it's got those. Song. I bet it's got that emotional uh, uh, sting to it. It's got those good songs. It's probably a musical yeah. and it make you feel good. But then you'll think about it three days later. You're like, wait a minute. Well, fuck. I guess you get to, um, you get to see what most, if not all, of the cast is doing right now. You get to see the cutie mark crusaders all grown up and stuff. And excuse uh, me for my cat. Lol. Child. Okay. There was so, this just was, like the Steven Universe movie. No. The end of My Little Pony is bad. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing right now. Uh, it, sure. There's. It reminds me very much of the last <clears throat> episode of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Is all good <clears throat> things part one and part two, and it's it's not quite this. But it's kind of a um, uh, a vision of the future uh, where y- there's time travel involved in it, but it's, it's very well done, as, as most is in Star Trek. 
not all the time, um, but it's like we see what each of them get up to in the future. And here's an interesting thing in that in that episode, my, minor spoiler. Well, actually, these are kind of major spoilers for Next Generation, but I'm just gonna say that uh, uh, Data, we see him. He's like a he retires from Starfleet and he becomes like a professor. And he has, like, these distinguished white, like, lines on the sides of his head. And he's, like, he's in this giant library and just seems to be consuming knowledge. And he's become way more human. And is just having a great life. Um, until a little movie called Star Trek Nemesis came out, like, ten years later. Where they literally just kill Data. Despite the... Uh, just, just forget all the Star Trek movies. They're not real. Uh, Data becomes a wonderful professor from, at, like, Oxford or something. He's got a beautiful, sexy robot daughter or something. Man. And uh, S- life is great. Speaking of, that, of that great ending to so Star Trek good. The Next Generation, are you ready for Star Trek Picard to steamroll all of it even more? Oh, I forgot about that. Um, I mean, I'm just not... Like, I gave up on Star Trek Discovery because it sucked. So I'm just not... <laughs> I just don't care anymore. I'm just over. I, I mean, I still got to get through Voyager and Enterprise, so that's that's plenty yeah. Of but Star Picard, Trek. Going back Picard's to next going straight maybe. for the juggler. They're gonna fucking bring back uh, Picard, and they're gonna do a bunch of dumb bullshit because it's yeah. written by the same people who do Discovery. So I'm not. Yeah. I'm yeah, not yeah. expecting anything great. I mean, I've been watching the uh, the Red Letter Media guys are my go to boys to talk about what to expect from Star Trek, and I've got zero expectations. So uh, not watching. Don't care. Picard's dead. I'd love, uh, I'd love to be wrong, but, you know, these things... But he's so fucking old, man. He's so fucking old. Uh, Patrick Stewart. I don't know. He's still he's making still it happen. Things. I mean, that, that's not the major issue. Because uh, at, at, at the end of all good things, we see Picard retired to his family's vineyard uh, where he makes wine, which he's passionate about and is totally sick. But uh, whatever. Anyway, everyone go watch Star Trek The Next Generation. Oh, it's Pony really good. Or Steven Universe. Just watch These are all good choices. Now, now that, now that we've spoiled shit. the endings for all of them, uh, <laughs> go watch yep. them. You know, you know. the thing is, by look, unironically, by the time, if you said, said like, oh man, they spoiled, I, oh, I didn't even really spoil, but let's say I spoiled the next generation ending. If you sit down, you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna go watch. By the time you get through seven seasons of The Next Generation, you will have forgotten what we've said here today. So you know what you should do? If any of these sound good, go start at the beginning and watch all the way through. Plus I can't it vouch for the latest season of anyway, My Little Pony. You appreciate it better. So. I can vouch or get mad. for Steven Universe and uh, <laughs> uh, Next Generation, though. So go watch them. They're, they're worth your time. Okay, yeah. anyway. Um, that's it. I have, some, mm-hmm. I have some recent events oh, okay. sure. to yeah. discuss. Okay. On this show. Sure. This okay. We would like to get on. Um, see, you guys see ContraPoints deleted her Twitter? Uh, uh, no. Uh, no. I heard, point, I heard some of, vague ramblings about this, that something happened point with Point of order, real quick. Everyone says, this, always, this is just a pet peeve. People say deleted Twitter. But I believe that the appearance of this is, is equivalent to one who has like privatized or like re- like made it so no one can see it, it so is, they may you've have deleted. deactivated your twitter you can yes, reactivate it whenever you deactivated want. possibly well you can de- well, can you only deactivate it for a certain amount of time or Poss- I, I don't know I don't know okay. ben you're gonna have to okay. deactivate your twitter why should it I care? it's possible it's uh, deactivation okay. maybe not whatever whatever um well uh yeah um th- so i don't know if you guys know why this happened but uh, a little bit. you know who this bit. person is Wait, you they're, know they're a lefty is? tuber. Well, Indeed. they're a, they're a trans lefty tuber. What's their, what's they're, well, they're like they're like the contra points, contra points mage. Mm, never heard of them. Okay, okay. go okay. ahead. Okay. Yeah, go on. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, uh, she she said some she said some stuff on Twitter that some people didn't like, and mm-hmm. the, and it was about um, it was like saying that like older trans people are like more they want to they want to like pass as binary basically right they want to like just just live as a woman live as a man or whatever Mm -hmm. and like the younger generation is more more like non-binary stuff and Mm -hmm. it's just i don't know she just like acknowledged that difference and there was a lot of very that seems on its face pretty factual i haven't seen all the tweets i haven't seen all the tweets apparently there was more i don't don't know there might be more to it than that but like my understanding of what i've heard people saying is that basically that was the gist of it but people Mm -hmm. said that this was not woke enough that she was erasing non-binary people was stuff, mm. and and you know, and that's I mean, genocide she, she, right there. People, that's what that is. That is that's genocide. genocide. <laughs> uh, people say, you know, people said that like, oh, ContraPoints got canceled. She didn't get canceled. She deleted her own Twitter. 
But like, what's annoying uh, to me mm. about well, it? Well, that one guy is... just committed suicide, so he just did it himself. Was that a canceling? I, oh, I don't know. I want that was my other thing. But oh, okay. let's talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about that in a minute. I don't know. The annoying thing about contrapoints is that these mm. are these are like these are trans people, non-binary people that contrapoints is like a huge advocate for. Yeah. But then. And then they will fucking rip her apart and abuse her and tear into her and, like, distance themselves from her and say that, oh, we need to do better. We don't want this person representing us because she's, like, because they disagree on this one, like, relatively minor That's point of contention. That's been the entire problem with the, the, the lefty tube kind of, or that sphere, is that it you is. step out of line a little bit. And it's not even stepping out of line. It's, like, mm-hmm. you have a minor disagreement on the general kind of... Uh, uh, talking points and you're immediately excommunicated it's ridiculous i mean uh, to it be is, specific it is a huge about it. win it is a huge win and like if you can show if mm-hmm. you're more woke than contrapoints if you can be like contrapoints is problematic here's why she needs to do better here's why i actually am more progressive than than mm-hmm. than the legendary contrapoints that's huge you can she's she you can take if you take her down you can springboard yourself you're the wokest. Oh, ooh. I mean, I, I guess that's true. You're even better than contrapoints, dude, because you killed her, you slew her, and you took her, and you absorbed her. All her, all this. She, think how much slime she dropped. <laughs> it's a Countless. lot. She's a very slime-based. Yeah. Uh, now creature. you're the biggest boy in New Los Angeles City, baby. You know, um, man, I, I, it, the, the the take when I examine the take itself, it doesn't even. I I are you kind looking of, at the take? No, I, well, it's, did you say am I a fan? No, I said, are you looking at the tape? Oh, uh, sorry, you, not, you, not like, right now, Google not right now. But like, I'm just okay. going off of my general understanding. It seemed very strange to me, because all it seemed to say was that ContraPoints was kind of voicing an opinion of, of herself and people who share her opinion. That did not seem like it was saying, like, other people can't feel a different way. They were just kind of expressing a personal desire to kind of just blend in as a woman, which, I mean, how could anyone object to their feelings about how they because want to be it operates as a hive mind. Twitter is like I'm a hive mind. The, it's fucking terrifying. I'm looking at the tweets. I'm looking at the tweets. I mean, right I don't know. I mean, this isn't I, the I don't first even time. Really get why happened. people are so mad. It, it sure it's not. It, sh- her position itself is not itself advocating non-binariness, but it also doesn't seem to be criticizing it. it so I don't get the point. Okay. Well, here I'll just I'll just read what she said. Right. Okay. Um, Give us the actual some context. of the offending tweets. Mm-hmm. Quote. This has happened to me before in hyper-woke spaces. Like, it's me and a bunch of cis women, and we all go in a circle. We all have to go in a circle saying, she, her, because I'm there. <laughs> okay. There's this yeah. paradox where I can go to a sports bar in North Carolina and be mismammed all night, no question. Mm. But in self-consciously trans-inclusive spaces, I have to explain my pronouns and watch woke people awkwardly correct themselves every time they say, you guys. Mm. I guess it's good for trans people who use they, them only and want only gender-neutral language. But it comes at the minor expense of semi-passable transes like me mm-hmm. and that's super fucking hard for us okay i find very so i any... see yeah, yeah so i on, see yeah. why i see the conflict here i see that like sure sure she is saying yes there is sort of a conflict of interest in that like talk me... about your fucking so... milk toast neutral takes on something though i mean yeah there's nothing incendiary know. there it's just a literal statement of fact and something it's that, just the fact that she's i guess it, not on the team enough of one group it's, that it's it's not I even that know. it's just a statement that like the language that's being used here is at a crossroads and that you're you you got to lean one way or the other and it's going to cause it's, difficulties why are, i mean why aren't we mad at these people just as an example for denying contrapoints desire to live in a specific isn't punching that equally up dude valid? they're punching up so it doesn't count Oh, that's the, rules. the power dynamics. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. look, P- I think pun- pun- punching up at the person who's fucking like doing them more favors than like matter, anyone else dude. on the internet. You, you know, you know, line but once, points, you're done. It's fucking uh, maybe weird. this is silly. Maybe this is silly. But especially now, I wish I'd gotten a chance to, to meet ContraPoints at uh, before Brody they Con. died. Brody they're Con. dead now. Their Twitter's before gone. They, they might before as well they be were dead. suicided. Oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. they were listening to that Spinell song. They were like, "Screw it!" Deleted oh, their Twitter. No! ContraPoints, don't listen to the Steven <laughs> Universe movie. Don't do it. Uh, now, now that's actually not funny because I don't want this person to hurt themselves in any way, and that has happened kind of recently. To, to, to make it clear, because everyone was talking over right. me, I said deleted their Twitter, not deleted themselves. Oh. Oh, whoops. Okay, I took it a different <laughs> way. ContraPoints makes an insane amount of money, by the way. I, mean, I believe that. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Okay. I mean, I'm look, they, they make that. extremely high Ben, when are you going to start dipping into that pool and start ringing in those big victim bucks? I, 
I can't evict him, but I mean, I can't do what ContraPoint stuff. No, um, <laughs> you can, you can, you can you go, lack the go full bread tube. Just suppose. make it happen. I mean, I wanna. I mean, I'll. You know, actually, you, you know, know what? what I, was thinking. I take it back. Don't yeah. do that because if you do that, it'll take you three months. You'll start building up uh, some momentum, and then they'll find out you're on this podcast, and you'll get canceled. So don't even. Bother. Oh, oh god, mm-hmm. they'll find out that I associate with people who th- say the n word. Yeah. They probably oh, would not god. be fans of that. Uh, okay, you're fucked well, before you even begin. Wow. You know, you know, you know what I think. I was th- yeah. okay, you guys have heard of this webcomic called Stone Toss? I have yes. heard of Stone yes, Toss. Yes, I have. I think I could Big be the fan. lefty Stone Big Toss. Big fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, okay, I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, Stone Toss is made by a Nazi. And Well, okay. Right. I mean, he said he's a Nazi. Was, are you sure that was like a serious point, though? Because people say those things as jokes. Um, Look, we know he's super right wing. We well, can here, all agree here, on that. Here's what, here's what I think. Here's what I know. Okay. I know that he has said he's a Nazi, and that everything he espouses in his comic is consistent with the ideology of a Nazi. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and say he's a Nazi. Well, okay? fine. Fine. Whatever I feel you like wish. this is a pretty open and shut case. All right, whatever. Um, but I mean, anyway, but okay. At the very least, he's a far right leaning. Yes, shit, we can all agree on lord. that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, I feel like I, I feel like I could be I feel like I could be Lefty Stone Toss. You gotta I mean, you gotta got, make like, Rock okay. Throw. Have it be like with a Pokemon angle. Ben use rock Ben throw. use Rock Throw. And that's the name. How of the about comic. Rock? How about Rock Smash? Right. Uh, true. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we got like Matt Bors, the guy who made the um. I am very smart. Like you live in a society and let you critique hmm. it. Comic now. Uh, I don't know. I, ben, I've, I've seen a, I've seen a couple of comics dissecting how effective how effective Stone Toss is as propaganda and like the way that it's like punchy and like really easy to understand and like true and like in like funny in ways that are not necessarily like bigoted, even if they carry like some like mm-hmm. dog whistles in them. Like like you can laugh at them for other reasons, even if you don't really know what they're saying. Sounds um, to me, Ben, like you yeah. are looking to, to as a wise man once said, Ben Saint is obsessed with branding. And here he goes again, branding oh himself, <laughs> no, using listen. his lefty brand. No, listen, to, listen, uh... listen. I, <laughs> I, 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 I saw, I've, I've seen a couple of people discussing, I've seen a couple of people discussing, and I've, see, and I've heard people say, mm-hmm. like, we need a leftist equivalent like like the left needs a stone toss we don't have anyone who's like but and alas like, the left can't meme as they say i was like well maybe i could. i don't know i was like maybe i could maybe i could i mean hey wait a minute mm-hmm. i just remembered that i draw sometimes and i know how to do that mm-hmm. Be- beast know, pace really. takes a hard left turn in in more ways <laughs> than not- one <laughs> I don't know. It's just something I was thinking about. Hey, well, you know what I'll say, Ben. I'll say about this. Uh, what I, what I, I mean, look. If you want to do it, hey, that's up to you, man. That's fine. But uh, in terms of like, what kind of it's content... just an idea. It's okay, been kicking okay, okay. around my old noggin. In terms, you'll have, just... But Ben, you'll have to post it under a different, under a pen name or a pseudonym. Because again, as soon as they find out you're on the Nazi podcast, you're fucked. The Nazi podcast. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Alt right podcast piece. Of, um, uh, <laughs> uh, in terms of when I think about the things that I want to extract from Ben's existence as content, I like because I uh, I'm a big fan of the stuff you make. Um, it's uh, uh, like I, I think about something like Steven Universe. Look, it, it is unequivocally true. It has been stated by the developers over and over again that like St- Steven Universe, among other things, like is is very clearly intended to promote through art like progressive values and uh yeah. like one thing is that um all the gems are nine bi- are nine binary rebecca universe is non-binary i suspect this is not a coincidence and you know what it's probably made me as a person like more just being like oh a non-binary person oh like in steven universe yeah that's, that's cool oh, man you know i get <laughs> yeah, it yeah. i get it that's fine oh you're a non-binary person where's your gem <laughs> Where's your gem? i'm gonna find that gem boy let me look at your body uh uh <laughs> Oh my, okay, dark twist on the Steven Universe. Like, there are gem hunters who just rip the gems out of uh, gem people, and they harvest them, and they use it for currency. Oh, if they meet, like, the Ferengi in space at some point from Star Ooh. Trek, mm. crossover. When you okay, said my, harvesting my gems, being, time to write you, a fanfic, you got my name. attention again. It. Uh, it reminds me, uh, Hoseki no Kuni. <laughs> How much a latinum is a gem worth? Go oh, on. yeah, Hoseki no <laughs> That's a good question. By the way, did you guys know that the currency uh, they use in Star Trek, latinum, is, in fact, a liquid encased in worthless, worthless gold tablets? Because gold... I- Gold. I have heard that. Gold is replicable. It's... Latinum is not. So uh, yeah. that's why it has yeah. value. But my, my point was, Ben, if, if I could have an ideal world 
Uh, I want you to make art and everyone in the world to make art that slowly indoctrinates me into your beliefs and coming along for the ride through subtle yeah. and great characters as opposed to, you know, outright I feel like political messaging. All art does that. That's what I'm that's thinking because it's sure my Doesn't spreading it? my ideas through this podcast sure aren't working because everyone in the comments fucking hates me. Well, it's a it's a ben, ben, you're going like you're critique, going hard like particular... without lube on a Nazi podcast. <laughs> what do you expect's going to happen? The la it's funny how the last episode had like particular levels of like bile towards Wait, me. Wait, even though I haven't listened I to last week's episode. episode. I Even though I was like specifically less like 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 aggressive about stuff, like I specifically didn't talk well, about stuff look, last time. Well, look, I mean, the, the commenters don't matter. I can tell you that I appreciate. I feel like you've been pr trying to be, you know, not not antagonistic. I'm trying I, to be I, a I good too, boy. You know, I'm yeah. trying to have a good time. That, I mean, that, that is my prime virtue. I want to hang out with everybody here. You're all my friends. I just want to have a good time and talk about things that are reasonably interesting. And, you know, I, I'm not interested in getting, like, overly... If there's something we strongly disagree on and it's, like, an important debate, then the PCB theoretically might not be the ideal place to discuss it. Uh, you know, it, like, if it isn't entertaining anymore. But, like, in general, I, I mean, I'll tell everybody, I think Ben's being perfectly reasonable. He's got different beliefs from me and I'm several so others. Reasonable. That's fine. You know, I'm so, he's not being I'm obnoxious so... about it. I'm so reasonable, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Even though I'm fucking crazy on the inside, I'm totally reasonable on the outside, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> I, I don't uh, know. This, uh, yeah. Let's, oh, uh, let's, wait. Uh, well, no. So, okay, sorry. I made my point. So that's so. All right. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Contrapoints. Uh, oh, what about the, the suicide guy though? Fuck, that that guy. Fuck, yeah. Yeah, Alec, yeah. That's my other thing. Uh -huh. Alec, Alex Holoka or Holo Holovka or Holoka. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you guys? Do you guys know about this? Oh yeah, you, you heard about oh, this oh, a little bit. I a did a whole bit. I did a whole bonus podcast on my patreoncom slash station 2 weekly bonus podcast. Oh, uh, okay. Did there's you? 15 bonus podcast people. You're missing out on all of them. Maybe we can hit some highlights uh, then. There's yeah. like okay, mm -hmm. all right. I mean, there's there's developments, right? So like, really? first first Zoe Zoe comes out. Wait, sorry, right? Ben. Okay. Can you tell us who this guy is just to begin? Okay, it's because so I don't Alex Holo, and I try to avoid okay. everything. Okay, I actually, Alex, if there's more developments, I've missed them, so I'm fascinated. There are, there are, there are. Okay, okay, I'm curious how much you guys know about it. Okay. This is like, this is like pro, this is like pro Jared again, mm. in that like just more and more information keeps coming out that just keeps deepening the scandal, only like way more important. Okay, um, the so Zoe. Zoe Quinn comes out mm -hmm. with their accusations. They say that Alec, Al, this guy Alec, so okay. Do people know who Zoe Quinn is? Uh, that they they were the they were the the, um, the by the way the, the five Zoe guys Quinn burgers and fries. Zoe Quinn is yeah, a they yeah. now. That's why I'm saying they they're non-binary now. Are um, they? Zo oh, what? okay. Yes. Okay. I, I didn't know I, that. I found this out. Gotcha. I found this out. It's on it, whatever. It was on Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, they were the person that kicked off Gamergate. Because of like a sex scandal involving like one of their exes, mm -hmm. like then reviewed their game and it was like, mm -hmm. oh, that they they had they ex oh they exchanged sex for a for a oh, sex for yeah. a good review and also they're a bad person and they cheat on people and they're a bad girlfriend mm -hmm. or they're a mm -hmm. bad partner, and so everyone hated Zoe Quinn sure. and then that spawned into Gamergate and Andy Sarkeesian and okay, well, the Gamergate was like more about like the integrity of a journalist or something. Okay, no, well, well, <laughs> well, it depends on who you ask. Time. Zoe was involved at the beginning for sure. I have yeah. another yeah. bonus if podcast on Gamergate. Liar, Lamal. they'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. okay, so keep going, keep going, keep going. Get yeah. everybody up to speed. Okay. So that, ha so, so the, so, I, so Gamergaters hate Zoe Quinn, mm -hmm. right? But whatever, Zoe comes out with Alec accusations that like ten years ago, mm. this guy. Alec Holoka, who is one of the two... Okay, there's a three-person team mm -hmm. that works on Night in the Woods, which is an indie game. It's a very popular indie game, which I personally have not played, but I know Night people really like Night in the Woods, really okay. Like okay. And there's a three-person team, but it seems like the two main... It's it's Scott Benson is like the writer and the artist. Scott Benson's wife mm -hmm. does... I think she also co-writes it. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And then this other guy, Alec Holoka, was the... Made mainly the programmer, and Alec mm -hmm. Holoka had sort of like gotten in touch with Alec based on Twitter. They like Alec had worked on previous games before. He had known like sort of gaming industry inside people like Zoe Quinn. Okay, and he was sort of in this like weird indie game scene. And he'd been very successful, and he got rich at a young age doing this. And he was kind of like an industry, an established industry guy, mm -hmm. like before Scott got involved with him. So she accuses him of basically being like a. F a fucking physically and sexually and emotionally abusive guy to her back when she, to her to her yeah mm -hmm. specifically to her okay and he and then 
Scott Benson and the 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 Night in the Woods team take Alec off their um, Twitter profile and like they mm. like distance themselves from him and they like remove reference to him and like it seems like he's not on the Night in the Woods team anymore. Mm. And then Alec Haloka kills himself. He shoots himself in the head. But what was the timeline there? Was that fast? It was like forty eight hours. It was like a couple days. Oh my god, yeah, that's was, fucked up. Okay, all right. It was fast. Um, and then. And then his sister comes out. His sister comes out with a statement. Oh, how'd you like this like, one? <laughs> you you've read this? I I saw bits and pieces of it. Yeah. Her, his sister comes out with a statement that is like, you know, I knew Al. She says she says I knew Alec. I believe Zoe. Alec didn't want Zoe harassed over this. Okay. Doesn't help. Mm-hmm. People go after Zoe. People call Zoe a murderer. <laughs> Like these accusations, like you accused a mm. a mentally unstable person of this, and you know you're you're a murder. You killed him. Mm. You're a mm. you're a liar. Oh, she's at it again. The Zoe Quinn body count is racking up. Um, the sister is saying Deli- that people are accusing Zoe. She's not accusing Zoe. Well, she says uh-huh. don't. Ac- she says don't harass Zoe over this, and that he wouldn't have wanted that. She says that he specifically said okay. that he wished no ill on Zoe. Gotcha. That's what she says. Gotcha. Um, the, his own do sister. That, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. His own sister. She, yeah, she says she believes Zoe. Okay, okay. And then Zoe deletes their Twitter, and then uh, Alec, is the other guy, Scott Benson, doesn't delete his Twitter, but he's he's like the co-writer. He releases a blog post talking about his life with, his, like, the time that he knew Alec. Mm-hmm. And, like, based... This is my take. This this is the last thing. Based on everything Scott said, like Alec Holoko is a piece of shit, and he's better off dead. He's a fucking scumbag. Okay. Right. Sorry, did you and say this that Zoe take? deleted her Twitter? Zoe deleted. Zoe deleted. Her Twitter. Well, okay. she yeah. deactivated it, reactivated it, and now it's private. Okay, fair enough. Okay. From anyway, what I like at least. it could have okay, changed again. Like since. people, like people. Okay, everyone was really mad at Zoe, and at first I was like, man, this is terrible. A man died, but then. The reports roll in. Mm-hmm. People corroborate Zoe's story. Scott corroborates Zoe's story. Scott describes a whole culture of people around Alec that he treated in exactly this way. Alec's sister says, "Yeah, this is pretty much what Alex was like." Scott says, "Like, I, like my whole the whole time that I knew Alec, he was like a horribly abusive person. He like, you know, he was always really secretive and cagey about stuff. He literally gave him PTSD." From what? the fucking shit he put, it, yeah. Scott has Scott has PTSD. It kind of makes you wonder uh, why he worked with the guy. If this is all, well, it's because Alec had clout. Okay, it's literally because okay. Alec had clout, and uh, I don't know. He used it to fucking. He, I, you should you should read Scott's art. Scott's. I have post, not read Scott's really post, good. which might recontextualize a lot of my understanding of the issue so far. Um, <sighs> okay, if you were, if you were initially on the side of like the cancel culture gone too far, I'm on no side I get here. It. I don't know shit. That was my that was my take too. But okay. like after reading after reading Scott's post, no, I mean no, this is good. This, this is great. Like thank well, thank I, you. Zoe. I will not. I will not you, go as far as saying I'm glad anybody's dead. Is that just kind of like a hard and fast? Like I don't want anybody okay. to die. Um, okay. I, w- I okay. I wish we I wish we could have rehabilitated him. Sure. Right. That would have been better. Mm-hmm. But I think it's pretty clear that that wasn't going to happen. Sure. Okay, just in light of and recent he was a events, bad guy. I, I mean, look. I, I mean, it sounds no, like we're. Like, I'm not. I'm not saying trying to. She's lying or anything. I'm definitely not mm-hmm. implying. I don't know okay. anything about the situation. I all I know is mostly what you said, but yeah. it's it's kind of like easy to throw shade at a person when they're dead and they're not there to defend themselves. I mean, it's kind of. I mean, it's almost sure. admitting to your guilt when you you kill yourself because I guess you assume you. you there's no way to defend yourself but at the same time story but at the same time you could you could have just felt like you know there was no way out there may be some mental issues or whatever it's not necessarily his guilt and maybe just some people had it out for him and you know they're talking well i mean the mob the mob i've seen so many people talk trash about stanley after he died i don't believe them fuck that shit but, but look but what I mean, happened that's to Contra points story. just recently. She also, I mean, I mean, again, it's I don't think anybody degree. can deny the fact that like Twitter is enabling a lot of bullshit. You know, the mm-hmm. fact that like mm-hmm. there, you just you can sick the mob on whoever you want without any evidence or anything like that, and that's yeah. kind of the really creepy thing. Zoe, the, yeah, and said, I'm not the court of, in she, their post. Zoe said in their post mm-hmm. that this was that they forgave Alex, right. for all the stuff. That they said, interesting. Alec did. Isn't that fucked? But isn't that weird? That, well, here's the thing: 
But why? I have always, oh, okay, I assumed from the get-go with the statement from Alex's sister that this did happen to some degree. Whether it was as extreme as Zoe was saying, who knows? Zoe has a history of coloring the truth yeah, to her benefit. Yeah, I don't but particularly. But like, it sounded, saying, if your own yeah. sister's not coming out playing defense hard, there's probably some grounds for, like, legitimacy there. But the thing, this is this is an example of a piece of shit being a piece of shit to another piece of shit. Because Zoe Quinn has a history of doing fucking ridiculous shit. And the whole reason okay. that this even happened, in my opinion, is that she was getting a bunch of flack for not delivering on the Kickstarter. And this was a smokescreen, especially when it was 10 years removed. And she said in the very statement that I forgive this person and yeah, I don't want gave him. and Why I don't want an anything. Issue? I don't want anybody to go after him. I just needed to get this off my chest. Okay, it was guys, a way of deflecting this, before yeah, it this, even this took off. This guy was such a terrible okay, piece of shit okay. to me 10 Are years there, ago, okay, but don't you know, be I don't want to defend him. Zoe Quinn because Zoe Quinn doesn't seem like a particularly great person either. Mm. But like, even if you ignore what she said, like the fact that the fact that like lots of other people yeah, yeah, and just... women and Scott Benson came out and said like, yeah, yeah, I want to. I, I want to. Like, this, this, this I just want to quickly I, I say. I agree with everything this person says. Yeah, I just want to quickly say. I'm not saying that everything said about him was a lie. No, I don't believe that. Like he, he does sound like he might have, you know, done something to upset people and maybe, you know, harm them and whatnot. Maybe he definitely did. Well, we don't know. He's not here to tell his side of the story. That's my point. It's kind of Re- sad remember that he's not when here. we were all convinced about allegedly the torrents and torrents of people coming out to allege the abuses done by one pro Jared right. that all of which fell away and the only two substantiated ones were basically revealed to be at the one very likely just made up and the other totally like un we can't verify it at all so look I- I'm not saying that they're not true I'm saying. We should just wait for the fucking facts. Well, and like, that's what the are these point. actual what accounts facts? that people are making? Look, no, what, what, like the thing you just said, Scott's account. That's a very biased source in this whole affair. What do you mean that's a biased source? I, that's exactly what I mean. He's a very biased source. If he was given PTSD a bi- by the everyone's guy, everyone's a biased source. Well, that doesn't Look, mean that facts don't exist. Literally, no one. Point to even one person that I'll has come out and right said, back. "I knew Scott. He was not like this." Nobody. Look, my, my, sorry, I think Alec. my point is Alec. very was uncontroversial. Like Nobody says that. My point is, I mean, given our recent events, shouldn't we just every, wait? Every, every, everyone is like, yep, I knew Scott. He sure was weird around women. We kind of had this thing that we all said, like, don't be in a room ben, with Alec. I would He's challenge really you to okay. actually present me a list of the people doing that and well, then show well, me the evidence. Yes, here's the here's problem. Maybe I will do here's, exactly Here's the that. problem I have with that. Uh, you know, everybody, the, the, the narrative with these stories is always someone... Uh, comes out makes an accusation and then all of a sudden there's a torrent of people coming out and saying yeah me too this happened to me too and like why wait this This is exactly what happened to pro jared why are we waiting so long for this like like if if we all knew that this guy was a monster for this long why did we wait so long for it to happen do something especially about it. after like, his at death. this point it is partially your fault for sitting on it for x amount of years and just letting it continue to happen when does personal I mean, responsibility come into the equation what do you mean personal okay i mean distance yourself respons- from the psychopath she, she, she's not responsible don't work with him for... i'm not talking about zoe i'm saying like if you're if you're a three-person team and one of those people is mentally okay. unstable don't wait until some random person brings up baggage from 10 years ago to finally pull the plug on him, do it immediately. Okay, well, Scott, I mean, Scott... The only know. reason like, that you Scott have... Scott lived in, like, a different country from Alec, right? Scott didn't know about, like, Alec's personal life. But you just said that he has PTSD from him. Well, that's... Well, yeah. Then... Not, not, from, not from his experience Maybe stop working girlfriends. from him... Maybe stop working with him before you oh, get this PTSD. Is su- this, is, this is such a... Okay... This is okay. What he describes is a whole pattern of behavior whereby Alec uses his clout to like get people working for him, like get people dependent on him, and then abuse them. Look, this Ben, is, like this look, is his that, strategy. That I'm not even saying I don't believe you or I don't believe any of these people. I, I haven't reviewed most of the documents. I don't know anything about who's made what claims, but I just think my position is simply I should probably find out as much information. How many of these accounts seem, you know, in, in, I just want to know if they're credible or not. I'm not saying they're not. 
I yeah. definitely just don't have enough. In Considering right. what just happened with Pro Jared, shouldn't we just, I mean, at the very least for me, I'm speaking just for myself, I should probably wait before I'm like, right. yep, it seems All right. clear. You, all right, you can wait. Listen. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard enough multiple independent sources okay. all say the same thing. I'm just gonna say, Alec Haloka, fuck you. It's, it's, you know, wish you could have been reformed. You weren't gonna be reformed. I'm glad you're dead. And I'm 100% positive that we will not be hearing anything that indicates to the contrary. He was a scumbag. Everyone in the industry knew it. And that, okay. It's, it's okay. already, sure. it's already, it's then already. everybody in the knew industry it. who knew yeah. bears, bears partial responsibility for not acting out sooner. It's all I'm I trying. mean, it's fucking weird victim blaming. It's bullshit. not victim blaming at all. It's just stating a fact. I just find it weird that everyone. If if Zoe Quinn is a hero for stepping forward, then everyone else who himself. didn't is a villain. Because he killed himself as instead of defend himself. Be so, like, what are we supposed to make of that? Like, oh boy, I what I b bet he would have had a great fucking defense. He would have had like a great like pro Jared level. Like, here's how I can disprove all my accuse. If only he hadn't killed himself, then we would know the truth. No bullshit. That doesn't mean he was completely guilty of everything just because he did that. It's just a, it's part of the story. I agree. It's also the possible court of public he did opinion has too to much power or something because of social media and it's dangerous. The court of public opinion. What did the court of public opinion did not kill Alec? Holoka. No, but we the, really the don't court know. of public opinion made uh, made its judgment without and without does he have a court of public opinion and the court of public process. opinion didn't and the Cancel. court of public no stop you, this is ridiculous the court of public opinion literally did nothing to him Scott Scott brought him up the, he didn't fire him because Alec was not an employee they were a team and and Alec had not been working on the project already for a while he'd been distant from the project for a while and Scott didn't even like him because he was like person like on a personal level Alec was like not good to Scott so like the court of public opinion didn't fire Alec didn't kill Alec didn't do anything to him he fucking killed so, himself so if, if and me and, and he's all the only, my he's if me and all my classmates at school we bully one kid we don't like and we we all do it a little bit but it's just enough that collectively he kills himself we all bear zero responsibility across the board are you calling this bullying yes I mean, I think that seems one one word among others that could be used to describe it. I mean, I don't. There, know. I mean, obviously, Enough. there's a there's a there's a morality attached to the term bullying that the per people doing it must be all evil, and the so, people being okay. accused must be so all if, good. Well, like, how if someone kills? So if someone kills themselves, like, are you gonna like you? You what? Like, there's a, the it is, makes there? sense like, oh, to examine the facts when someone kills themselves and determine why they did it. And, you know, maybe okay, okay. there was some fucked up situation going on there. I have people a, deserve accountability. I have I, if it was made up, that'd be bad. So, I mean, it's probably not all made up. So, good. Okay, let's find out exactly where it all is. Look, I don't even feel like I should be commenting because I don't have anything to say. I haven't done any research. I'm simply stating facts are good. I will make up yeah. my decision once I get more facts. And okay, I probably I wanna, I wanna have quickly, enough. I want to quickly I've share a, a story. Them, right? Okay. I want to quickly I've gotten a lot of them and I've made up my mind and I think it's very well substantiated. Well, that's fine. Okay, well, that, I mean, your what, what opinion you have, like, uh, be it Nate's or be it Ben's, it doesn't really matter. The things are the way things are and whatever you think isn't going to change anything. However, um, I want I want to quickly say a, a story. Like, with the, with the situation, it's very complicated. It's uh, hard to tell what, what what's the truth and what's not. And, uh, you know, like, I'm a bit with Nate. I would prefer to, you know, more know more facts than you know make up my mind or whatever remember pro jared yeah i know it's I, not the okay, same no. from the very beginning there were conflicting reports about pro jared you all just weren't paying attention that's possible i i'm still not paying attention to pro jared i'm avoiding that as much as, as i can anywho uh there was this story about this one girl that you might have heard uh in uh not saying this is like the same it's definitely not the same it's a lot Clear, more clear cut, I suppose, of a situation. But um, she drew fan art of Rose Quartz, and she was too thin, and she got so bullied by everyone. She was such an evil person, and her way out was to try and commit suicide. Thankfully, she survived. But if she had went through it and died, would have that made her guilty? I mean, I mean, no. Like, what's what's the what's the parallel? The parallel is that there's a calculus that I think everyone's doing here. That's how much of a crime, how much of a moral crime did the person commit versus what's an appropriate, I don't know, social backlash. And yeah, obviously the, yeah, there's that's, different that's, degrees. That's, you're illustrating the point. The difference is that Alec actually was like a really bad guy. And like lots, whereas this person didn't fucking do nothing.
These are like opposites. I mean, the, these the are not people the have claimed that this person was awful. In our eyes, yeah, they but weren't they're awful. Wrong. Well, yeah, and maybe yeah, like some wrong. of some of the people who are claiming that this guy was awful are wrong. That's my point. I mean, I, I don't, don't know if they're wrong. They, they might. They, they might don't seem to be wrong. Yeah, and they might not be wrong. They might. They might actually be honest. But it's just I don't like the way the situation has panned out. I suppose that's my point. And I can't really trust them in this situation necessarily. So I reserve my opinion on this whole situation. Well, who are you, wait? Who are you choose? Who exactly are you choosing not to believe? No one. I don't. It's just I don't like the way the, it's such a big mess. You don't like the way you hadn't even heard about this until well, Ben. Yeah, you, and you're I don't so like fucking what? weird, Ben. You're like, oh my god, you haven't looked into the facts and haven't formed an opinion yet. That's fucked up, man. No, like, Jesus you're, Christ. You're, you haven't looked into the facts and you're formulating an objection. Her objection no, is she doesn't know. Yeah, that's not her objection. What your is, objection your, objection is let's, your, your objection is let's not jump to conclusions without the information. And I'm saying I actually have a lot of really good information. Yeah, but you're a biased answer, source. Oh, yeah, but you're, you're not, leaning nah. you're leaning one way, and I have heard yeah, your story, I have, but I haven't I have heard the other part of the story. Therefore, I don't want to make an assumption or you know make a, a solid opinion about the situation just yet. I well, I think okay, they could fine. be wrong. All there right. might that's I mean that's fair. They, there might more I, information. I, I, I feel attacked. I feel attacked for my opinion. <laughs> okay, there, Ben. Ben, right. listen. I don't. I'm saying it's it's fine the way you you think. I'm just I'm not agreeing with you. But I'm not exactly disagreeing with you either. I just think there might be more facts that might come out. There might not be more facts. You might be right. You might be wrong. I don't know. That's my point. There's there's okay. I I also felt I also felt sympathy. I, I guess my final word on the subject. Is I also felt sympathy for Alec, and I thought, boy, what if what if Zoe was lying? Like that would be so bad. Like that would be a really terrible thing that happened. And then I read Scott's article, and I was like, wow, fuck me, dude. I don't <laughs> no, I don't even feel I sympathy. I reserve all okay. feelings until I have facts okay. one way or the other, and Zoe. feel nothing. If, I'm just saying, I'm saying this for the benefit of the viewer. Okay, if right. you're listening to me and you're like, wow. Wow, Ben, how dare you? Like, g- 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 better off dead? That's a yike statement. Go read Alex's. Go read Alex's article and then tell me what you think. To me, to me, Zoe Fair is enough. like the boy who cried wolf. I can't and believe by her. Scott, at this Scott's point. article, not Alex. I keep confusing them. Mm-hmm. Scott is the one that wrote the article. Yeah, but like, like I was Blog saying, post. like Zoe, the boy who cried wolf. I can't really believe her. Other people, I might actually, you know, look into it and see what they're saying and then reserve my judgment. Um, yeah, Zoe seems kind of questionable scott's a scott's a good boy i mean if committing yourself if committing suicide is sign of a guilty conscience what is you know privating your twitter or whatever is that also a sign of a guilt i I don't i don't know what does well does that mean that contrapoints is guilty Uh, you tell me i don't know also private i mean i don't think so but other people seem to what is what? I, I mean, that was the point you made. Like Wait, he killed you, himself. Okay, Isn't now, that suspicious? I don't understand. I don't understand this because you're you're taking two things that you have the opposite. Yes, stance Ben, because on one is a depiction of your point that I'm making for the sake of to show the fallacy in the argument that that does not what necessarily fallacy? imply anything. Hi, I mean, uh, killing yourself wait, doesn't prove you're guilty. I agree. It's uh, no, part of the suspicious wait, you were, wait, you were saying that oh, killing yourself seems like an admission of guilt, but isn't deleting your Twitter also that? Uh, but it's not. That's... If, if it's but if it is for Zoe, then it is for contrapoint. It's it's just you know what it doesn't matter. It's not yeah, it, retreating away from you know the public eye isn't necessarily admission of guilt. Some people might say, but I mean that's what Pro Jared did. Pro Jared retreated from the public eye for a while, and then he came back and he made a video, well, and everyone's like, oh, like, I get like, it. I'll, I'll get I'll give Zoe that. I don't think it's an admission of guilt. Like being bombarded I mean, by yeah, a lot of people of who who probably say kill yourself and other awful things. You know that that's not fun. So you know. Just, just uh, you, you can private your Twitter, and that's what she probably did, and that's you know that's fine. I don't know, that I don't think that makes her guilty of anything that specific moment. Of course. But yeah. Anyway, is... how, hey, how about those voicemails? Huh? Uh, it's getting um, I, 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 I specifically this is Gamergate asked. Two, okay, this is the inception point for Gamergate Two. All right, I, it's coming. I specifically asked not to make this podcast three hours, and we're almost two hours, and then like the voicemails are probably going to be like I don't know one hour. So well, I mean, how many of us bitch and complain when the episode goes long, Mage? Huh? It's almost like the episodes do that sometimes. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not complaining. I just. I really ho- was hoping to make it a bit shorter this time. <laughs> I was too, but I fucked it up. Well, it doesn't matter. In any case, we have the voicemail. I fu- I fucked up and gave our listeners even more of the great content they crave. Those poor bastards. I was really hoping that this episode we could avoid politics, but no, Ben was here. 
Oh, wine, 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 wine. Get, go, go, go back to last episode and get in the comments and say, Ugh, thank goodness, thank goodness that they shut Ben down from talking about politics. Oh, whenever he says any, whenever he has an opinion about anything, I just get so fucking mad because he doesn't agree with me about anything, you know, I, and that's I, politics. I, it's things that don't agree with me. I saw that. I saw that one comment. Like somebody, I saw you. I think you responded to it or something. That some guy was like. Thank God Nate shut Ben down. When? When did I shut Ben down? I don't remember doing <laughs> I don't, that. It okay. didn't happen. I got really mad at I got really mad at that guy. Yeah. I don't even think he was the worst one. Mm -hmm. I feel I was really mad at him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't It's true. I, I did not I, I tried to avoid escalating in like a negative way. I did, you know, that's true, I guess. There was another yeah, okay. To so that guy, I'm a little sorry that I got so mad at you, but not really. Like fuck you, okay. man. Like get fucked, right? <laughs> Fair enough. And then there was another guy Fidelio. I don't know what Fidelio, Fidel, I don't know what your problem is because you seem like a comrade, right? You seem like I a think comrade so. I think so. who just doesn't give a shit about like identity politics. Yeah. And this and this guy and this guy is in, like he's like a purely an economic driven, he doesn't care about the social aspect. Of, mm -hmm. Like that's the sense I get that this is a guy who's like steeped in economic theory or something. Sure. And he doesn't give a shit about anything else. And so he's down there in the comments like, uh, the fact that Ben went to protest the straight pride parade just proves that he's just a LARPer and he's not, and he's not for real. Like, he's um, just, like, it's yeah, all just you didn't like, even pull a gun on them, you. Ben? You fucking pussy. You get, commit. <laughs> like, you, commit. Like, oh, wait, he went out and, he went out and actually did a thing? Well, that just proves that he doesn't actually, he's not actually doing anything <laughs> So much for the it. tolerant left, am so I right? So much for the tolerant <laughs> left. Why don't you read Chomsky, you fucking, uh, okay, I should probably read Chomsky. Listen. Hey, you know what I got? I read, you know I read I got Conquest of Bread. I just read the I just read the the Communist Manifesto. It was really short. Uh, maybe I'll read Chomsky next. I don't know. You know, I'd be interested to hear. I kind of want to read Bakunin. I uh, I just got huh? a book of my own. I, I don't have a lot of these, but I got a book. Um, it's The Vision of the Anointed by Thomas Sowell. You know Thomas Sowell. I know the name. I forget. He's a he's a libertarian deals. guy, and this is a book, as I understand it, about how like top down governance is uh is in his view suboptimal, sub-ideal, and so I'm curious to see uh, what he has to say. I have, I've read, like, one page so far, but he uh, seems like a smart guy. seems like a smart guy, so I'm going to give him a One page. Seems like a smart guy. Can write well, some I words. mean, from the other experiences I have, Tom, <laughs> Tom coming Thomas. in to fucking cuck me. Oh, boy, I don't know. You said the L, you said the L oh, word. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, no. yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, well, uh, all right, let, let's do the voicemails, lads. Yes. It's, it's time, it's time. We still have to endure the voicemail. Whoa, 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 whoa. They could be good this time. We don't know yet. No, 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 we, no, 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 I'm saying, Nate, no, no. okay, before the episode, Nate, mm -hmm. you said mm -hmm. that the voicemails this time were of a higher caliber well, than usual. Okay. Do you stand? That's do you not, stand by that? I, I said. Are you gonna? Are you backpedaling? The question <laughs> was: Are like Nate? Did you prepare another bunch of shit voicemails? Because we don't want to deal with the pain. If there's, I said like they're good. I stand by they're good. I stand by that. Is when this, I said, is this when like I a... said endure the voicemails, I meant the fact okay. that our our like uh, bot rhythm bot isn't working, and oh, we all true. have to click separately. Oh god, that's right. Okay, yeah, that's, do, yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Short saga, people. So to get these voicemails, we had to do extra work because I looked into it. I went to Discord's chat or whatever. Discord is currently not working with SoundCloud for some reason we don't know since yesterday. So we have to manually play this in our end. So forgive us if it fucking fucks up. It's not our fault. Blame Discord. Uh, okay, in any case, uh, all right, if you guys are ready, we can click on number one. Yeah. You are, are you, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Ready, ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, voicemail one is from Riddle My Ass Batman, and I'm going to count three, two, one, go. Okay, so here we go. Three, two, one, go. Uh, um, shit. Did it, did it not it, work? It, it's not work. It's shit. Okay, it's not pause. Working. I'm pause. sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me try it. Let me try again. Okay, all um, right. Take a sec. No problem. Uh, open with. <laughs> okay yeah i got it sorry okay all right all right here we go uh all right click play go back to the start or whatever okay so here we start on the count three two one go so i'm out for a run in the middle of the park being a good fit boy like you do good work so i'm on the top of the hill feeling real good about myself when suddenly i hear a yell from the valley below ah it's a one. Oh, no. Oh. So I don't know Ew. what's going on. I don't know what's happening. But I know someone needs my help. So I start sprinting down the hill. That's Batman. What Batman. Am I and halfway down the hill, I hear a second scream from another someone. It's a guy this time. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> I feel like some of you are beating oh, me not, to the punchline. Do not steal my joke. <laughs> okay? What? 
I get to the screaming, and I find there's two young kids just going at it. <laughs> and I mean young. Like 15 or 16 okay. young. Oh, no. So she oh, covers herself now? up in, in, in embarrassment, <laughs> in reverse cowgirl position. <laughs> And he's on the floor having a time of his life drawing a <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good gesture. And I'm version. just in shock here. Like, utter shock. Okay. So, the only thing I can think to say in this particular situation is, have fun, use protection. <laughs> so, I say it and I just sprint off. <laughs> so, that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. From Riddle My Ass Batman. Same PCP time, same <laughs> PCP channel, okay. maybe. Yeah, was that wholesome. was that a true story? Terrible. I I would like to imagine what? that he was, was shocking. He was t- out for his run in tale. full Batman attire. Yeah, <laughs> and so That's these guys Batman are just runs. fucking, and they just see Batman right up to them. Tell them to use protection, and then fly off into the <laughs> distance. Hey. Here's protection. Sprints. Batman's away. He <laughs> grappling hooks away. <laughs> well, that would be so much okay. Ridiculous. I mean, a message for the people, I guess. Thanks, yeah. riddle my ass, Batman. Thanks, riddle my ass, Batman. We... I feel as a great start to my day. <laughs> All right, let's go to number two. Uh, this one's from Scumbag Chris. Okay, here we go. Uh, three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. There is no such thing as human core. I thought about this two podcasts ago and was too chicken shit to make a reaction. However, (laughs) after hearing the absolutely worthless voicemails of the most recent PCP, I knew I had to set the record straight. Thank you. Munchie, what you said was wrong. Humans did not invent agriculture. Ants have been cultivating fungus for millions of years, and many even keep aphids as a sort of insect cattle. And it was while I was sticky with pre-nap wank cum at the peak (laughs) of my Kenjitaimu, or post-nap clarity, I realized there is nothing humans have invented that wasn't done by animals long before us. Clothing, bagworms. War, ants again. Art, birds. Even what I had at one time believed to be the most human core activity, suicide bombing, is a tactic employed by ants. Humans aren't special. We're just another animal, and I am frankly disgusted by the lack of creativity or genuine achievements we've had as a whole. It is for that reason that I have decided to give up my dreams of being an artist, renounce my humanity, and begin living life as an ant. Long live the colony. Yay. I mean, I, mean, I was waiting for that. Aren't, we're all aren't we all doomed. just ants living in the anthill known as society? I I think he's saying he's going to suicide bomb PCPHQ. No, oh, That's fair. Probably. That's fair. Uh, at least we haven't wouldn't have to listen to terrible voicemails anymore. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, we got another call uh, uh, from human y- yeah, human yeah. core. Human core is mm-hmm. human core are things that humans. Humans, humans must sabotage themselves. Humans sabotage themselves in specific way. I feel like there are. Hmm. I feel what like there are fail, there are particular failings that humans are. Are there any animals that go to space? To. Uh, no. Yes. No, there are not. They would well, if they monkeys. could. Yeah, there, there are human... water bears on the moon that have been living there for like fucking bajillion years. What are you years. talking about? Oh, wait a minute. That's like a TV show. Ha <laughs> ha. No, Ho-ho. that's that's a real fucking thing. Wait. Oh, All right, what? this is obviously there's, a lie. But no, what? no, there's these little, say? there's these little animals, like fucking weird little creatures that are coequally known as water bears, and they're the most like resilient what? animal of all time. They can resist like nuclear explosions and shit, and can survive in the depths of space. And oh. they found them on the moon because like they've just been flung out into the fucking void. Whoa! And look they're just guys. on the yeah. moon now. Look at look at this. Uh, 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 audio links. Yeah. Audio links. Look at this shit. I've, I've seen. So them. we don't even get that. We don't even get space travel. They they're uh, already well, forming I... <laughs> Starfleet without us. Damn it. Well, if they were already on the moon to begin with, it's not like they traveled through space. They hitched a ride on the moon or something. We're hitching Is a ride really... on a fucking rocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a like a rocket that yeah. crashed on the moon. Like had it's them God's all rocket. On it. Mm, okay. Well, all right. Pretty cool, water bears. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right. We can't so, do anything right we suck. as a species. Uh, but they're just so fucking resilient. They can survive in the vacuum of yeah. space. What do they eat, These though? are the things that live for, like, millennia yeah. and just, like, don't age. They must be, like, around. completely Let's just be inert. happy they're not parasites. Yeah. I'm just uh, saying, indeed. if we're going to start doing some DNA splicing, I think water bears is a good place to start. You know? Why are they Probably called water true. bears? They're not... They don't look like bears. I don't. Do they they have you guys water? ever uh, have you ever read a manga called Terraformars? You know, you know what I'm talking about. I have heard of it's, it. Yes. No. It's okay. It's a great series. I mean, it, it's it's interesting. I, I like it, and it's about um, 
basically they they colonize they're trying to colonize Mars humanity I, I believe it's Mars and they get there and um, they they were trying to terraform the planet and the way they were like testing it to see if it could sustain life or something like that was to use cockroaches so they left a ton of cockroaches there but when like humans come back to like check on the progress of the terraforming the cockroaches have mutated into these big hulking freakish like black monsters that are super strong. In fact, let me let me get a picture. Uh, terraformers. Attack on cockroach. Th th that's basically what it is. That's basically. What it is. Oh, and there's a there's a there's a show now too. Um, okay, look at this guy. This I is think exactly I watched what I'm the first about. episode of this back when it was airing. I I never watched it, but I like the anime, and they are yuck. In, yeah, they are um spooky yuck. yucky boys. I Damn. Seeing these. They uh so the point was like the the human beings, however, who go to that's colonize some the planet. Right there. They're they're pretty scary. They are absolutely terrifying, and uh, look at the, look at this happy guy. He's having a fun time. This cockroach man. Stop! Ew, no. Stop. Yeah, they're not fun, right? Okay, okay. Point no, is, no, thank the, you. The humans uh, who come to fight them. Each of those humans are given like a specific bug power to like fight against them. Like <laughs> like the main character guy, he gets like sick like wasp butt punching gloves, or he can like sting you, and he's got bug superpowers. And everybody gets like a different bug power, and it's pretty cool shown in stuff. Um, but, uh, it, what if we gave water bear powers? That would be a pretty sick one. That's just that becoming be, God. You'd, you'd literally be indestructible, invincible. It's, it's literally just like curvy rock power. You know, <laughs> that's a pretty good power. <laughs> but then you can get grabbed in Smash and thrown, so that maybe it's not so good after all. Uh, well, regardless, let's check in voicemail number three. All right, we're going to count it down. Mage, why did you send me this pat on the head? <laughs> uh, because you said you were feeling attacked. And I you did say that. That's true. Time. That's true. I feel I feel a little bad. I feel a little bad. What? I feel like maybe I went a little too far to say that like mm -hmm. it's good that he died. It's not good that he died. It's sad. Okay. But I also feel like humanity is better off without people like him. Is there? Is that a? I mean, I feel both of these things at the same time. I, hey, you feel how you feel, and I, I understand that position. Like I don't. I'm not exactly thrilled when like murderer. I mean, it's sad when like a murderer exists because like sure wish he like, wasn't not, a murderer. Like it is. But... Like it's tragic, right? Like it, it is tragic when anyone dies, right? Like it's a ter it's a terrible thing. Not everybody. I mean, some people I'm glad are dead. Not everyone. Honestly, but, yeah, I mean, yeah. some less than others. Yeah. And Alex's case, I, but I don't. Th know. There's just, a spectrum of Scott, how sad. By Scott's he be. account, he just seemed really bad. Just seemed really bad, and I don't like. I don't. Yeah, I don't I mean, want him. I, I haven't looked into I this guy. I, like, I, I've known. Enough. I've known people. I've known people that he reminds me of, and okay. I just think they suck. Okay. All right. I mean, fair, like, fair enough. That's what I think. It, I think it's a fair enough uh, feeling to feel like a uh, world would be better off with it without certain people. But mm -hmm. it's always a tragedy when someone has to die. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. About it. That's how. That's exactly how I feel. Okay. Next voicemail. We got uh, Mao's ghost is calling in, oh, and no. I cannot wait to hear from him. So, uh, okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. I, uh, so I didn't start it. Damn I'm it. sorry. Okay, I wasn't we'll paying attention. We'll restart. All right. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> damn it, Ben. This is, okay, right. this is on me. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. Ready to go? I, I'm ready. Okay, count of three. Three, two, one, go. Hello. This is the Chairman Mao, coming <laughs> from a communist hair. <laughs> Comrade Starin have informed me of this podcast. I've become a very big PCP fan. <laughs> However, <laughs> I recently rushed into episode 173 and become <laughs> very sad. <laughs> Ben Saint only went to talk about politics and mm -hmm. ruined her podcast. Lol. <laughs> Please take Pager from a communist handbook and the stage glorious revolution overthrow Ben Saint. <laughs> ben a million people in China, but even I'm not as misguided and naive as Ben Saint. Please <laughs> <laughs> air our ship PCP t shirts to communist hell. Me and Comrade Starin want to rip your merchandise. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And as we say in global communist utopia of a China, <laughs> Great. We gotta get some merch down to hell right away. Uh, Does Teespring ship to hell? Contact is sitting I, over feel Twitter. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's our target market. I, I feel like Those that's our hell. demographic. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, mi we're missing out. Like, there's so much. There's a lot of untapped. Overlap. That's that's an untapped market. We could we could really make some headway there. Uh, I hope this uh, this cadre of of it, it's what's the opposite of a rogues gallery? Um, it's like a like we're, we're obtaining a group of allies in communist hell, and I hope this continues to grow. Who else do we got? Is Pol Pot communist? No, he was just like a murderer. Uh, I, I don't know. When we other people. When we uh, well, there's Stalin. Stalin um, uh, I mean, we get uh, Marx, Karl Marx, or something. Uh, Castro, Mao. Maybe, Levin. maybe I mean, if we. Call our, 
Maybe Even if Karl helped... Marx was correct, wasn't he like mean to his maid or something and like impregnated her and kicked her out? So well, uh, he's probably in communist I don't hell. Fucking you know. know. Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't Why know. Not? That's pretty fucked up. I'm just. <laughs> he was an atheist. I'm just saying. So he's an God atheist, damn so atheist. He's in, so that's I'm, the I'm, real yeah. kind. I'm just saying, if we can help Satan get verified, maybe he'll hook us up with. Uh... Ooh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Hashtag Is... verify Satan. We gotta make this happen now. Um, okay. Only if he's also communist <laughs> only if he's also an atheist i don't want no you know religious satan is satan an atheist i guess we'll never i guess we'll never I know think he'd, I, be I better, so. he'd be happier until he gets verified no we can't be sure <laughs> that's true uh okay next up all right get ready to click lads we got tongue twist me daddy he's calling in oh, uh okay here we go three two one go Oh god damn it! No, wait one more, one more try. Ben, the love what in the fuck are you holy. doing? All right. Okay, all right. I realize that I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding goodwill from the it's audience true, right ben. now and from all. of The you. revolution was upon um, us, but now the will is fading. Yeah. All I right. I, okay. I didn't hear that. I was I was hoping I could try it, but now I don't know what it what it is. Okay. Well, okay, let's, start, let's try let's one more time. Over. Okay. No, three. No, no, it's okay. No, I ben think, didn't even uh, hear it. Ben didn't Ben didn't hear it. Oh, okay. Okay. Three. Sorry, man. Here we go. Three, two, one. Go. Here's the German tongue twister. Fish up, fritz, fish, 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 that's it. What, what just happened? What was wait, the? Wait. Okay, so the first one was a German one, and the Correct. second one was a what one? Russian. I Russian. That was a Russian one. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't. The, the German one was just like fritz, fish, fritz, up, fish up, fish up, fish up, fish up, fish fr- up. No, no, she, she, fritz, she was messing fuck. up. I think that's the. That, that. Yeah, Did any of that makes sense to you, Mage? I don't know how you uh, German something or Something about is. fresh fish, but uh, she kept messing up, so she I don't think she get to, got to finish it. Oh, I couldn't even tell if she was making mistakes or not, because, you know, no ear. What about no, the... No, she was definitely... Did you, get, did you pick up any Russian one. there? Was there any Russian? Uh, the, the second one, I couldn't tell it was Russian, to be quite Well, I, yeah, I was wondering if you knew any. Okay, well, fair it's enough. Fair the, enough. The, honestly, the second one sounded like she had... Like was playing something backwards. Fris or fris, that's what fris, uh, I, I'd what have to re, I had, I'd have to listen, uh, listen back again, and and just like increase my volume a little bit to 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 tell if it was Russian. Hold on. Okay, fair, me, fair give enough. Me, give I'm just me, taking like, her word. The pronunciation seconds. seemed pretty good though for someone who sounded American. Uh, well, whatever. Tongue twisted. Okay, let's move on. Uh, number five. Let's go Megalo Smash. I wonder what this could be about. Hmm. Okay, three. Uh, give two. me. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, okay. Hold on. Yep. yep. Okay, Good. ready. Good. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Play. Uh, just in case there's a small chance that this didn't come up on the podcast, I'm giving you the opportunity now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Too late, all right. Dude. That's that's Okay, ladies and fucking. gentlemen. Thank you for uh, uh, reminding us. We did in fact discuss Sans. He's a good boy. I left that in he, as a fail safe. He, he does say some stuff. Oh. What do you say? He says, "I missed it." I think he just said, "Ladies and gentlemen, he's in." Oh yeah, okay, all right, good, good, good. I mean, true, true, and it, it feels good. It feels damn good. It is a weird. Uh, I feel like Sans is the only assist trophy in history to be celebrated. I think every other one. He's has not, been. An Wait, he's not an assist he's trophy. trophy. He's a, he's a oh, uh, fighter. Uh, sorry, uh, actually, an assist trophy would kind of be better. I mean, sort well, of. The- G- Gino is pretty excited. He's a, he's a as a as, as a, a me costume. costume. I mean, guys like me. I, that that that's what Sans is too, right? It, well, yeah. yeah, that's true. But I'm mean, I'm saying that like when when Gino Gino got in at the same time that Cloud was announced in Smash Four, and I, mm. I actually don't think Gino is a me costume in Smash Ultimate currently, which I think is why people oh. keep alive the hope that he could uh, he could really get in. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So I mean, that's. By the way, I, I, you know what? I'm glad this came up because I almost forgot to say. Did you guys know th- this is actually by far the most important announcement, except maybe for Sans. But in, in that direct, it's that they they stated, you know, it was a, it was a they were gonna make five DLC playable characters for Smash. They just blew the door up. They're like, nah, fuck that. We're gonna make more DLC. We're not stopping at five. Right. We'll go as long <laughs> we as like, we fucking want. We like want. money. So I mean, <laughs> yeah. doors open, boys. We it's no longer just one and done. We don't have to fight between the Steve idiots, uh, the the Doom guy bros, the uh, the Raymu fags. You know, it could be anybody. It could be instead anybody. of Doom guy. Like what 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 if it's one of the demons, like the dude, the dude one, the dude <laughs> like skeleton. like the Beholder with just the one eye who just floats <laughs> around. I would love Beholder. Cacodemon assist trophy or something. I, mean, I, I want I want the dude skeleton. Cacodemon assist <laughs> oh, yeah, trophy, the trumpet please. Guys. <laughs> uh oh man so many possibilities i found i found i found, I found the tongue twister I you did the, yeah the german one can you pronounce it 
Uh, hold on. I'm going I I can I can try. Okay. Uh, th- this is what it's written. Um, fishes. Oh God. Uh, fishes spritz fish frische fische frische fische fish fische fish, 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 fish. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Wow. And what does it mean? Like fresh what fish. Does it mean? Yeah. What's it mean? Uh, it's uh. Hold on. Um, the fisherman Fritz fishes for fresh fish. Uh, fresh fish is what the fisherman Fritz fishes. Okay. Okay. Or, yeah. Pretty good. I like it. It's good. <laughs> I wonder what the Russian one is. Well, one one day maybe we'll. It we'll sounds like the, the Lithuanian one. At least, like, like yeah. it's similar, but it's it's definitely not the Lithuanian one. But uh, there, there's one tank twister Della. I like showing off because no one <laughs> can pronounce yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, it is a rare thing. Uh, uh, yeah. By the way. This just reminds me, did you guys, you probably haven't seen this. It was like on my trending tab on YouTube or something. I saw a fascinating video. It was, um, it was by, uh, what's his face? Uh, is it Tom Scott? That guy with like the blonde hair, the British guy who always wears like a red t-shirt. Is that, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he did. Does look- I, oh, yeah. Wait, is he like a math guy? Yes, primarily yes. But he, yeah, I think I know who you're talking about. He's just like about. a genius guy. He's just like a knowledge information just guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He did a video. Boy. He did a vi- this was fascinating where like there is a chart it's about languages it, there's there's a chart that exists about I'll, I'll try to find this later it's I found about it. like oh, you, you, do you have the video huh. about all yeah. possible that's the one language sounds <laughs> that could exist but don't cuz if you like if the human mouth has only so many positions that we can move our tongue and like mandibles and fucking our palates to to make different sound effects and like across all languages, if you look at the chart, there are blank spots where like sounds could exist, but like nobody uses them. There are blacked out ones that can't exist or whatever. I'm confusing it. There, there's marks for symbols that do exist because someone was trying to make an alphabet of like every human language so that every mm-hmm. sound would be accounted for. But there are theoretical ones that could be used in languages based on position of mouths, but in no way have been in any languages yet. And I just thought this was the most fascinating that's fucking, concept. That's neat. That's neat as hell. Right? Yeah. Right? You should check yeah. it out. Made that's just my Yes, I need to so watch cool. it. It was in, in my list to watch. I'm subscribed to him. Good boy. Tom Scott. I mean, honestly, I wasn't that impressed by this guy. This video blew me away. I just thought it was li- so cool. But uh, there is, um, I don't know. He always makes oh, such God, cute cool one? videos about a lot He does make cool does stuff. He make a he video does. about the YouTube. I think I saw his video about the YouTube algorithm, right? I'd, I'd like to watch I... that. I don't know. I think he's got a big popular one about the YouTube algorithm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I th- I've, seen him, I've seen him in other ones, too. I, I like his videos about the tree that owns itself. And there's another tree that owns yeah? itself. Yeah? No How's one that? About is, it? It, is it Fluttershy? <laughs> <laughs> Get it? <laughs> no. Wait, the tree that owns itself? <laughs> yeah. How's that work? I'm not owned. I'm not owned. I scream, as shrinking into a small corn cob. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work, Mage? If you if you can break it down, uh, I'm just curious. It's, it's a very short video. You should really look it up. But it's like uh, mm-hmm. it's something a while ago. Some mm-hmm. some landowner like he gave the rights to the tree to own itself, and like it now. That's fascinating. It. And like and like the people are honoring it, but like. A few, a few like like kilometers or something. I don't know he how, but slave, like a little bit ways away, slavery. there's another tree that also owns itself, but it's not as popular as the first one, so no one knows about that one. <laughs> Lol, <laughs> <laughs> overshadowed by his big bro. That's hilarious. Uh, sad. By the way, I'm just. I mean, I'll just throw this out there while we we're just discussing Smash quickly. Some guy, a uh, Komodo Komodo Enesis, who just tweeted at me, he's like, "What if we had a swordsman me Hollow Knight? Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, I would love that. Oh, that'd be so sick." Wait, Digi's not here. Correct. Or else I would rip him to into yeah. him for his video that he made about me on the radicalization of Ben. See, I, I thought that was a hilarious video. I did not agree with it's, everything he was saying. Okay, <laughs> I didn't agree. Yeah, it's honestly, it was pretty funny. Yeah, there yeah. were some things I would have objected to. It wasn't all bad, I like, guess. But it wasn't all yeah. bad. I wasn't really that mad with anything Digi said, even though I disagreed with a couple of his characterizations. But the the question, mm-hmm. whoever. Did you get the feeling that whoever asked that question like hates my guts? Um, I did feel that they were definitely not a big fan. Yeah, I definitely I felt thought that. that. The, like he said, I don't think the, they the hated guy in the question is like, I love Ben and I love his comics, but and then he, but I just think that he's like the scum of the earth. He like, did not go that bag, far, and he's clearly just okay. Okay, he he brings up like. He brings up like some specific shit. Like mm-hmm. he specifically talks about like the house that I live in, and this oh, is like yeah. stuff that I yeah. don't know why this is relevant to anyone. And I wonder if I know this person personally, because <laughs> I have someone in mind. That it's Hargadine. It it's Hargadine. <laughs> no, no, no. There's another. There's another person I know in real life mm. who has been to my house and who I know is a fan of Digi. 
and I yeah, and hmm. someone said, huh, what if it was that guy?" And I was, "What well, it could be? Hmm. It could be him." You know, that that's possible. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like I someone uh, could have not not to not to quash the dream just, here. Just the way the tone was asked was strange to me, and I was like, "This." feels like weirdly personal hmm. I, I, I think it's theoretically possible someone and I, I personally think it's the more likely thing that someone just from hearing what you said about like living in like a big house with like trying to you know keeping the rent low because you split it with a bunch of people like I, that informs I like their... my house I like living with my friends with this question yeah. asks it's like oh Ben's just mad because he has to squat in a house with a bunch of guys and a bunch of dirty dudes you know, I, uh, th- th- he lives that's, in that's squalor fair. maybe, maybe like, as someone Jesus who Christ. maybe as someone who doesn't agree with you on everything I, I saw perhaps more of what I, I thought his point was, which was kind of like, like given the way you choose to live your life, that more aligns with like, you know, more like leftist mentality on like collectivism. I, mean, may- I, I don't know. Maybe, may- maybe it does. Maybe. maybe it does. I don't know. I felt that I felt the question was really hostile. Well, I mean, Digi's answer. I don't completely agree with it, but I don't. Compl- it's like whatever. Mm. It's just fine. You should ask that uh, person though. I mean, I'd be fascinated to hear if it's actually. Well, I, but he didn't know. say who it was. Well, I mean, so. you should you should you should grill them. Maybe suddenly strike with conversations I'm out and suddenly be like, oh, Ooh, Digi per- sure made yeah, a funny maybe- video about me. Haha, ha, don't you think so, friend? No, he's not. He's not talking to me. He thinks. I'll, he thinks I'll murder him. Real? Oh, is it? He thinks. Con- he, do you think you're gonna revolution on his he ass? So, he thinks socialism will literally kill him. <laughs> um. He, th- okay. he, th- he thinks that I want to personally execute. Him. <laughs> well, it sounds like he's just misinformed about your particular <laughs> he's, beliefs. I'm, he's. I told like that's not. He's just. He just wouldn't listen. He just wouldn't listen. You know, it sounds. This know, sounds whatever. to me like a guy. Not. To, I don't. I don't know him, but uh, it sounds like he's a little bit too. Fu- like he thinks that. You know, he's heard the memes of socialism death count or whatever, and he's like, ooh, that means me. I'm going to be death counted or something by... I don't know. That's that's my guess. This this was a this was a guy. I don't know if I really. I don't want to. Yeah, talk, I don't want to talk whatever. about this guy specifically. Whatever. But that's, that's, some, that's yeah, that anyway. is amusing. Regardless. Um, yes. I, though I mean, did anyone else get the feeling? I mean, it's probably not him. Odds are it's not him. But wouldn't it be funny if it was? And I was like, ah, now I understand everything. <laughs> the context. It all adds. You know up. about the video though, like about D- Digi's video. Like I thought it was. I really feel like. Look, we all see the world and we see the things that like we are most attracted to. And like, yes, you've done like interesting marketing things by occasionally throwing a few dollars to like advertise your your thing somewhere. But like Digi's whole thing about like marketing, I feel was him being like, This is how I see the world. Ben yeah, must be okay. this way yeah, too. So yeah, this yeah. is my I think it was a little bit of projection. Yeah, that's the right. Word. That's like the okay. Word. The fact like it's not like in a way. It's true that, like, everything you do in public is marketing, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, in a certain sense, mm-hmm. it's unavoidably true that that ev- that I am marketing myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that's, like, a really broad... Th- like, the part that I object to is that he said... There's a part where he sort of implies that I, like, I saw people succeeding on the left, and I saw that there was money to be that, made. I mean, yeah, he did kind of make like, that point. That's not, like, I have... I don't know. Like... I, I mean, you'd have to, yeah. I guess I guess there are some people like that, but like I don't think it's like a huge like money mill. I don't think there's like, and I certainly haven't like done anything to make money in that way. So I yeah. don't know. That's that that's the one thing that I'd be like, no, that's just wrong. Everything else, ah, eh, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't think you said anything particularly me. I just I just thought like no. I mean, me knowing you, I was like, Ben seems pretty sincere. I mean, I don't think he's you know, I don't know. Yeah, did you did you didn't did you didn't say like oh Ben's not sincere? Yeah. But I feel like a lot of the comments like read like heard him as saying like Ben's not sincere. A lot of the comments are your typical stupid. You cri- you you criticize capitalism even though you <laughs> <purpose laughs> Ben. Have I mean, you like, ever considered no, the fact that you criticize capitalism like that, despite living under it? But a lot of them are it? I just think that's that that's <laughs> silly because to go back to what we were saying earlier is <laughs> like if you're trying to like score lefty points to get more money, the last thing you want to do is come on a podcast like this. Like that's just putting a target I mean, well, on your back. I, I mean, to be fair, Ben is making money by being here, so there is a resistance to just. No, but I mean, if, if you're know, trying I'm to make saying. money off like the left narrative and like being a lefty guy, I, to make that long term transition, yeah, you're probably, just setting yourself might... up for like, like, do I want to just tag? tie this huge ball and chain I mean, around you can, my you lefty leg right a, now you know like it's I don't just know not if this a good exists, idea but if there's a space for like a hardcore like kind of free speech also very lefty person uh, that seems I, I don't know if that market really exists though uh they're just called well, right what about wing, uh, you know? what about look well there's Sla- slavoj slavoj zizek yeah, well yeah yeah okay there you go slavoj zizek's like that mm-hmm. there's um yeah, the dirt the dirt bag left the dirt bag left is the all dirt about bag you left. Know. Yeah. there's there's lefties that say retarded and stuff, you know, they exist. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. 
Uh, okay, I've all right. Seen, I've seen some of them in the wild. So, so we've got one last voicemail. Now, this one isn't a, like a, a, a normal voicemail. It's more of a someone was kind enough to make a public service announcement for us on our behalf. So let's play oh. this PCP SOS. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay I won't, I okay, won't we, fuck this good. one up. Okay, we, we all set, lads. Up. Okay. All right, on the count of three, three go. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, go. This is a fucking emergency, okay? <laughs> Listen to me. The PCP needs more voicemails, man. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. didn't even notice. Maybe they did. I don't know. Two of them were me last week. <laughs> Two of them were the same guy. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, we need more voicemails. <laughs> it's fucking hell out here. We need some more content. So he, he can't wake up mom and dad in the next room over. I he's know, that's be... what I was thinking. It's his fake whisper yelling. Oh, I love that. That's, I remember doing the that. The neighbors will complain. When I, when uh, I started making yeah. YouTube videos, I had to be quiet and I would do that. But now I've got a, oh. an office and stuff. What's what's his point? What's his, his point? point? Is, Two of the voicemails were from the same guy. Well, what, that just means you're a great voicemailer, man. That, yes, Congratulations. That's true. But we do need more voicemails. Send them, people. Pile them in. Sure. But also make them good because I don't yeah, want to wait through them trash. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Quality. More and importantly, quantity. make them good. Exactly, Tom. Exactly. Let this be a what's the word? A, a buyer's market on our hands, not a not a seller's market where we'll take whatever we mm. can get. We don't want that. Mm. Compete with each other. And and uh, what's the word? I want to like lower the. Not the bar to get over. I'm trying to raise that L to lower the, the f you want to lower the floor. I don't want to lower Wait. the floor. I want to You want to raise the skill ceiling. I, I, yeah, and also raise the floor, and, I guess. And also raise the skill <laughs> Yeah, floor. everything goes up. That's You want to you want to raise these people up out of the depths of their own mediocrity to create I something it's not it's not left or right. It's I just want to hashtag raise these bros. That's all there is to it. Uh all right. <laughs> that's it for the episode everybody. Uh, SpeakPipe, click down below to leave those voicemails on uh, the website where we get them. It's a big fun time. Please do so. Make them good. Uh, Patreon.com slash The Procrastinators. $1, Patreon Discord. $5, 29 bonus episodes. And we, just before starting, had a great idea for the next one, which I think you'll be interested in, but I won't tell you yet in case it doesn't work out. But we'll, we'll get to that <laughs> soon. Uh, what was the last? What was our last bonus episode again? That was uh, uh, Doom. Was Playing, it, was, uh, uh, no, Quake, uh, Quake 3. Quake, Quake 3, the arena. Quake, yes, the, arena. the Quake 3 arena, the, arena, the rematch. We re-entered the, the arena, yes. just like I re-entered the birth canal to be unbirthed. And frankly, what? it was the oh, best God. choice I ever made okay. in my life. I disavow, uh, I, I, I disavow. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, so give us money. Much appreciated. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. Thanks for donating. At TP Crastinators, updates, Twitter stuff. There you hey. go. Yep. Hey, my Kickstarter. Mm, indeed. Check out my indeed. Kickstarter. It's boy, I'm scared saying this right now oh because I only have like five days to actually make it happen and make sure that it's up. <laughs> but if I didn't fuck it up, link in the description. Vapors two, buy a book, put it on your shelf, get up, get some pins. Excellent. Yeah. Ha, fuck yeah. <laughs> that sounds. Great. Now's the time. Hey, is, there a, is there a new pin for this uh, for this upcoming one? There is a new oh, pin. Oh, I want to know. I want the pins. You, I love my Poobah okay. pin. And I want there, a new one. There, there is the okay. So I there is the Poobah pin, which you have you okay because I have like because I sold most of them the first yeah. time to get the Poobah pin. You gotta buy like you gotta buy it in like a bundle. Okay. The new pin is Infinite Jest. Ooh. You can now have Infinite Jest on your person at all times. And did I mention I how many fucking guest chapters there are? There's like six, okay? Ben. It's going to be like it's like new content. That's, that's or excellent. Or backers. Good question, Ben. If you had to make a pin, yes. if you have any ideas, what would potentially be a pin for chapter three? <sighs> Maybe like crippling depression? <laughs> you know, uh, um, Magda. God, I don't. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, maybe know. like a hospital really IV or something. Uh, the IV, uh, boy, just I'll, a shoe, I'll have to cross a slipper, a mega just slipper, perhaps. Oh, the, you know the slipper is a good. Wait, but that's just a pooba. <laughs> Damn it, you're right. I forgot. What? If, okay, if you put um, two of them next to each other, you could get the pooba slipper effect. You know, yodels. Yodels. Does she eat yodels? yodels? I can't remember. She 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 steals the box. Oh of yeah, <laughs> fuck the man. That's the, that's. I think that's the best I can. <laughs> okay, do. all right. Well, I as a completionist minded guy, this this is what I think about when I think of these things, and I look forward to it one day. Uh, fuck. I yeah. hope you get sued by the guy who makes Infinite Jest for all your money <laughs> for using his likeness. He's, don't you know he's dead? Oh shit! But he's a, uh -huh. but he's he fucking Alec Halokid himself. But his greedy estate surely exists and will demand their their devious compensation. 
lawyers or children so. or relatives. You hope so? Yeah, let's let's hope so. It's like, I no, 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 so. you Finally, don't understand. I, I kerned the S and the T just a little bit to the right, so it's mm. Infinite G Street. Yeah. It's fine. It's <laughs> not the same ooh. book. You don't... Yeah, you don't own that phrase because it's a Shakespeare reference. Oh, so it could be a totally different uh, book. It's on fair. The pen. That's fair use. Mm, mm. Yeah. Okay. Fair use. You don't own the concept of a book. So get fucked. All sounds, right. Sounds good. We'll do, Chief. Uh, all right. We'll see you next time, everybody. <laughs> Patreon. Give us money. Twitter at T B Crasnares. Speak pipe for voicemails. That's all you need to know. Thanks. See you next week. Peace. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Oh, Done. Sink. I'm supposed to be working right now i'm supposed to be working right now but i'm not working i'm doing nothing my dick i'm jerking myself i'm so